All right, group. Well, group thirteen. Well, group fourteen. The engine assembly uh, and section includes the assembly of the unit itself. Assembly cylinder one black cylinder black. The section also includes the assembly specification adjustment, engine testing, storage, engine assembly testing. One main bearings, two connection around the bearings, three crash shank shaft with gear, four cylinder line and fly with connection around the piston assembly, six cam shaft gear, seven cam shaft, eight cam shaft bushings, nine gear cover, ten water pulley, idler system, eleven fly in assembly, twelve water inlet connections, thirteen exhaust manifolds, fan, fourteen fan hub mounting brack support, fifteen cylinder lining packing rings, sixteen cylinder liner shim, line of shim, seventeen lube oil cooling filters, eighteen rocker level shaft, nineteen water bypass tube, twenty is thermostatic housing thermostat housing 21 water manifold it's only 22 locker level or housing cover cap 23 cylinder head gasket 24 cranking pan motor spacer 25 intake manifold 26 main bearing cap 27 cylinder block 28 rear covered assembly 29 flywheel housing 230 lubricating oil pump 31 current filer pushing tube 32 fuel pump 33 oil pump in thermostat um, 33 oil pan and gasket uh, 34 thermostat Service tools do assemble to make an adjustment engine for the according to the instruction section with the following service tools and the equal, equal, equal qualities required, required engine support, stand cold pile suit, and pulley, pulley assembly tool, cool gauge block timing fixture, torque wrench adapter, torque wrench kit, piston ring expander, o ring assembly um, tool, seal of seal sleeve, driver lube oil, sampler filler, melt the gate, belt gauge, seal mandrel, seal mandrel, valve spring spray nozzle locator, 80 degree tilt engine. Cylinder liner hold down tool fuel consumption measuring device liner driver of dual re aiming re, re aiming fixture of engine lifting fixture of seal mandrel Teflon seal seal pilot Teflon seal rear pressure gauge and inches and HG um, belt, belt gauge dial gauge attachment block mounting plant tool, torque wrench zero to one hundred fifty inches a pound torque wrench zero to one hundred seventy five foot pound torque wrench kit zero to three hundred foot pound torque torque wrench five hundred four hundred foot pound um, pounds Oil wrench, spin on, spin on, Loctite pipe, sealant, in valve, adjusting kit with Jacobs brake, blowing by, check the tool, seal pilot, Teflon seal in front, air compressor wrench, compressor ring, the compressor, engine rebuild, stand connection, rod, guide pins, and eyelines, lifting sling. Figure 14, one shows installing the pipe plugs, all right. Um, surface dual loom, actuator, retainer, adjustment tool, variable timing, fixture bracket, studs, dial, indicator, sleeve, cylinder, resisting, liner, steel, seal, um, standard tools obtaining um, locat locally. Dial indicator, um, dial indicator, sleeve, manometer, zero to one inch, zero to one micrometer impact, wrench, engine, capacity, dynamometer, hoist, power, chain, straight edge, and feeler gauge, engine assembly. Install the cylinder block to the engine stand. Install the water head with the adapter plate with the cylinder block. Tighten the cap screw six to eight foot pounds. Install the part number three three seven five zero one three blocking mounting plate with the part number three three seven five one nine three engine rebuild stand. Make sure the top of the stand and the plate are aligned correctly. Put, put the cylinder into the correct position of the rebuild stand. Install the lock washer spade with the cap screw. Screw with the bolt, bolt, bolt the cylinder block with the rebuild stand with the tighten the cap screw with the seven five foot pounds of torque. Install the pipe plug. Pipe plugs one one eight one and one one eighteenth of an inch or ten torque foot and ten foot torque and fifteen maximum. Three eighths of an three inch from pipe plug twenty to put minimum third twenty five maximum foot port pounds half inch thirty five to forty five foot pounds um three quarter of an inch to fifty to fifty five foot pounds seven eighth of an inch sixty to seventy foot pounds seven eighth of an eighteen straight plug apply Teflon plate with the to Teflon tape equivalent to the pipe plugs. Uh, apply a coat of 30, 30 weight um, lubricating oil with one eighth of an inch plug within itself of the oil gallery. Do you use the Teflon tape with these plugs and install the Teflon pipe plug with the cylinder black with figure 14 one with the tight the pipe plug with the torque valve listed in table one. Install the crank shaft and the main bearings. Ma make sure the main bearings are clean. Use the clean cloth with the clean board to make sure the cloth does not leave with any of the particular lint or the boards. Make sure the cap screws are clean and dry. Install the upper main bearing shell figure 4 two. The Install the upper main bearing, sh bearing shells. You know, the upper bearing shelf of the shell um shall have the groove of the hole of the permit lubrication with the crank shelf of the upper shelf of the number two and four and six of the same with the groove of the shelf of the number seven and the not same with the shelf within cell number seven shell and the wider part of the shelf of the groove from the groove of the tour of the fly in with the cylinder block also shelf of the groove of the really dial wing within cell of the shelf of the groove of the wheel next to 
the two of the counterborn, counterborn cylinder black, um, apply with a heavy coat of the claim, lubricating with the oil through the upper shells and seal the marine bearing down pill of the rings of figure 413, the install of the crankshaft that you for the hoist and part number 3375958, nylon shifting sling to be lifted off the crankshaft, check the marks for the rear of the counterweight crankshaft that applied, the side of the thrust rings, install the upper thrust ring, make sure the groove of the side of the thrust ring again for the crankshaft figure 4414, apply the coat of cleaning and lubricating oil with the lube bearing, surface the crankshaft with the lubric low bearing shield with the, the line of the bearing shield with the dial ring, Push the pu and then push the side with the shell opposite the dial ring to, to install the shell figure in 1415. Um, four, sorry, 145. Install the lower thrust ring with the eyes of the number seven bearing, bearing cap. Group side with the thrust rings must be um, toward the, front, the ring shaft flange. Figure 14 show the installing the dial ring and also 14 4, 14, 4 installing the thrust ring. 14.5 installing the lower bearing re bearing shell, then installing the main bearing cap. If they pull the cap at the correct location for the cylinder block, make sure for the number of the, each for the cap the same, the number marked on the cylinder block. On the cap screw hole for the cap of the, the holes of the cylinder block, install the new lock plates on the cap to locate the cap screw for the end, then lock, tight, lock plate C, SA, SA weight 10. 30W oil lubricated with the cap screw or uh, 140W oil lubricated the cap lock plates. Drain the excessive oil from the cap screws before installing them into the cylinder block E. Install the cap screws lock, lock plates through the caps and within the cylinder block with the use of the hand Use your hand to tighten the cap screw for two or three threads. Hit the, hit the cap to the rubber mallet to push them into the correct position. Make sure that the dial pins and dial pole holes from the number seven main bearings are correctly aligned. Caution when you hit the cap of the mallet, make the, sure the bearing shall do, does not move. To tighten all the cap screw for the main bearing cap with the use of the sequence of figure 14.6 and tighten the cap screw for the follow the instruction. Tighten three quarter of an inch cap screws part number 208346 steps at 85 foot pound torque with until the cap screws are tightened. Four six four six um fourteen six to tighten the sequence for the main bearing uh, so as as uh one on the outside, and then moving your way in on the outside and moving your in moving one outside counterclockwise moving your way in. All right, 250 to 250 foot pounds with the torque C, 185 with the exemption. Tighten one inch cap screw with the part number 10, um, 10593 for the end of the step of the 100 foot pound torque until the cap screws are tightened with the 300 to 310 foot pound torque. Loosen all the cap screw for three to five threads with the repeat steps A and B. Check with the crankshaft to make sure the rotates freely. Use the hand to rotate the crankshaft. Check with the end of clearance of the crankshaft. The end of the clearance between the 7,000 of an inch to the 18,000 of an inch of the new crankshaft with the thrust rings and so the dial indicator gauge for the rear face, rear face for the cylinder black pull at the contact tip of the gauge within against for the end of the crankshaft. Pull the crankshaft toward the front of the cylinder block, adjust the indi indicator to read zero. Push the crankshaft toward the rear of the cylinder block, figure 4, 17, 14, 7. Um, read the indicator for the amount of the end of clearance. If the end of the clearance is less than 7,000 an inch, loosen the cab screws one turn. Push the crankshaft toward the front of the uh, front, the front, and then toward the rear of the cylinder block. Figure four seven. Measure for the end clearance for the crankshaft. Follow the instructions. Step in ten. Tighten the cap screws. A uh, D. Um, check the end of the clearance. Fourteen. Make sure for the end of the clearance. Review for the crankshaft is no more than worn limit. The twenty-two thousand inch of the clearance is more than twenty-two thousand inch. You must repair the crankshaft and use the oversized thrust rings as described in section one. Bend the tang and uh, tang. Bang, bend and tang the lock plates against the head of the cap screw. Install the cylinder liners. Check the board with the cylinder line of the board must not have any sharp edge of the board cut the damage of the cylinder line o ring of the counter with the cylinder black with the cylinder inner flange can be must be cleaned with the free of oil with the hydrocarbon solve the clean of the oil with the parts. You can also solve the as an aphthia methyl ethanol ethyl ketone, ketone or trichlorinated or methanol chloroform. Naphtha methyl ethylene ketone or MEC MEK of the flammable materials must be used with the care of the do not start fluid at the cleaning agent. Install the new O ring clear, clear crevice seal on the tip of the cylinder line. Install the crevice seal on the top of the groove of the chamfer and the surface um, crevice of the seal. Must store to the bottom of the cylinder line. Install the back of the O ring in the center of the groove. Install the red O ring with the bottom of the groove with the fly light O. Cover with the clean lubricating oil. So with the surface seal of the O ring must be before install with the cylinder line with the cylinder block. Make sure the oil does not touch the counter bore or the cylinder liner flange. Do not lubricate, do not lubricate the O ring until you are ready to install the cylinder line O rings and Creep to the side with that they are in contact with the lubricating oil for the same period of time. If the cylinder liners are not to be installed within 15 minutes after the lubricating oil rings, use the vegetable oil to lubricate the oil rings. Apply the bread over the bread bead of the common cumin silent part number 3801048 onto the counterboard cylinder liner flange of the shown in figure 148. At 14.8, with the diameter of the bead must be at least 3 and 64 of an inch, not more than 1 16th of an inch. The liner must be installed in five minutes after the sealant has been applied. 
Figure 4, 18, show the applying the ceiling in these locations, applying 3 to a quarter, 3, 6, 3, 4, the inch, or 1, 16, the inch diameter over the RTV bead into the linear, linear flange of the cylinder block counter bore. The RTV excludes the outer form of the seal, but enough that the RTV cover the counter bore ledge, but it should be applied. So excessive amount of the RTV must be avoided the after liner insertion on the cylinder block. Do not use the excessive amount of the ceiling. Excessive ceiling can cause the problems of calling the cooling system. Put the cylinder into the bore of the cylinder block with make sure the O-ring of the scrap of the seal does not move the groove of the cylinder line or the insole of the cylinder line into the bore with a quick pop push as shown in figure 14.9. The U for the part number ST1229 liner drop the metal with the push of the flange within the cylinder liner against the counter bore ledge. Figure 14.10 installing the liner. Um, 14.9 also using the quick push quick push to put the liner into the bore and then you uh, installing the, with the liner. Um, U for the part number ST1229 liner driver mallet. Push the flange in the cylinder against the counter bore ledge. Check the protrusion with the cylinder. Cylinder level to install the part. Number ST1184 of the cylinder liner. Hold down the tool. Make sure the tool is spaced evenly around the cylinder liner so the tool will apply equally amounts of pressure. Make sure the tool that it does not damage the beta and the cylinder liner. Turn the cap screws to 50 pound, foot pounds of torque. Use the part number ST547 um, gauge block to check the protrusion of the cylinder liner. Figure 1411, checking the protrusion of the cylinder liner. Figure 1412, measuring the bore of the liner. Figure 1411, the amount of the protrusion must be 3,000 to 6,000 an inch. 7. Check the inside the diameter of the bore cylinder for the out of the round condition for the following instruction given on page 115 and 16. Use the dial bore gauge for the measure of the bore of the figure 14, 12. On the piston travel, the bore must not be out of the round more than 3,000 an inch in the top of the 1 inch for the piston travel area and no more than 2,000 an inch in the gravity seal of the ring area. Install the piston and connection ring and install the ring onto the position one side of the ring. It has the mark on the word top, then saw the ring on the side of the tour at the top of the position, saw the O-ring in the first view of the part number the ST763, the piston ring expanded, and saw the ring with the figure 1413. Figure 1413 shows the installing the piston ring. Caution, do not damage the ring when installing the them into the position piston, expanding the ring just enough to allow it to fit over the piston. Make sure the ring gap that each of the ring is not aligned with the piston pin with any other ring with the figure 144 and saw the two pieces for the little control ring. So that the gap expanded with 180 degree for the gap of the ring, install the upper bearing shell into the con into um, the connection rod of the tank bearing, but the drill must be on the slot connection rod. Figure 14, 15, make sure oil holes and shells align with the oil hole in the connection rod. Figure 14, 14 shows the alignment of the piston ring, the number one top ring, the number two um, ring ring, and number three but ring ring gap, and the number four bottom ring gap. All right, four, follow instruction step three, install the lower bearing shell of the connecting rod with the cap, the connecting rod cap that does not have the oil holes part, install the part number 3375601 with the nylon god screw with the connection rod of figure 1416, and apply with the coat clean of the 30 weight, lubricating oil with the bearing shell with the connection rod of the cap, put the piston rod assembly into the container of the 30W lubricating oil in order to apply the coat, coat, apply a coat of, coat of uh, oil piston to the rings. Figure 1415 shows the upper bearing shell into the connection rod, and also in 1416 shows installing the guide screws into the connection rod. Um, removing the piston and ring assembly with the container, use the part number 3375162 for the ring capacitor compressor of the rings. Make sure that the piston rings are curly, um, curly actually located in the groove of the piston. Install the piston rod assembly with the cylinder block, rotate the crankshaft with the, the journal of the connection rod being installed at the bottom of the dead center. Use the ring capacitor to hold the piston rod assembly. Push the piston through the compressor into the cylinder figure 1417. Do not, metal, do not use the metal device to push any against, against the pistons. Make sure the tang of the connection rod mid toward the crankshaft side of the cylinder block. Push the piston until the top of the ring into the cylinder line with the piston must move freely in from the ring compressor until into the flat cylinder liner. If the piston does not move freely, remove the piston, check from the bottom of the broken damaged rings. Use the nylon guide screws to pull the connection rod into position against the crankshaft figure 14.8. Note the guide connection of the rod into the crankshaft to push into the piston and the cylinder liner in order to prevent damage from the crankshaft figure 14 so the installing the piston of the connection rod assembly. 1418, position the crank, position the connection rod against the crankshaft journal. Alright. Um, measure the side clearance. 149. Install the rod cap to remove the nylon god screw. Then install the connection rod of the cap tank side of the cap against the tank side of the make sure that they install the correct cap of the connection rod. Apply the coating with the clean 30W lubricating oil with the threads of the cap screw with the bolt of the blue connection rod with the whole oil has bolts applying the 140 weight. W lubricating to the washer, tighten the cap screw of the bolt every two to the push of the cap of the connection rod of the table to give the torque correct torque value of the correct sequence um, to, to the file. Tighten one, step one, tighten the minimum 70 pounds to 75 foot pounds max. Two, tighten the 140 to 150 pound pound max um, foot pound 
Loosing completely four tight in the 25 to 35 30 foot pound max. Um, five to 70 to 75 pound max, foot pound max. Eight and six tight in 140 to 150 pound max. Check the side to side side clearance move in the connection rod. Figure 14, 19, and then connection must re move rod must the rod must move freely. The side clearance must be between. 45 ten thousand of an inch or 13 um, thousand of an inch and if the connection does not have remove um, free for, freely move remove the cap make sure that the bearing of the shell is are the correct size check the dirt and damage install the cam sh camshaft Install the cup of the pl cup of the plug in the camshaft board to the rear of the face of the only back of the board measure for the two point six for two four five or two point six two five five you the part number three three seven five one five three the cup, cup plug driver then install the plug if the bore measures two point six eight six five or two point six eight seven five um the U for the part number three three seven five seven oh eight the cup plug driver apply the co quote lubricating on the both side of the thrust and reinstall the thrust ring on the end of the camshaft make sure that the oil groove in the thrust ring toward the camshaft the gear figure fourteen twenty fourteen twenty installing the thrust ring onto the camshaft. Applying a coat of lubricating with the camshaft, the drum of the camcast, bushing to rotate the camshaft um, slowly. You must push the um, push it through the bushings to not damage the camshaft bushings. Install the part number three three seven five six two six eight. The camshaft the installation pilots on the two two and a half inch camshaft before they install the camshaft. Align the O marking on the camshaft gear with the two O marking with the crankshaft gear. You check the amount of the backlash between the camshaft gear and the camshaft crankshaft gear. And include install the gain dial indicator gear for the front face of the cylinder block position into the tip of the. Tip of the engage against the tooth of the camshaft gear figure 1423. Or 1421 installing the pilot and pilots onto the two and a half inch camshaft and also install align the timing gear markings on the camshaft gear and the camshaft crankshaft and time shift camshaft gear and the crankshaft gear. Um, rotate the crankshaft gear as far as freely and move and make sure the crankshaft gear does not move to turn the dial of the gear into the gear. Rotate the crankshaft gear in the opposite direction reading on the gate show the amount of the backlash between the gears. The normal amount of backlash between the new camshaft gear and the new crankshaft gear is 4,000 to 16,000 of an inch. The backlash measure for the 2,000, at least 2,000 of an inch. The backlash between the gear have been, maybe have been, must measure for the amount more than two hundredths of an inch. Installing the cylinder head to make sure the surface of the gasket are clean and install the new gasket without the dial pin for the cylinder block. Make sure the side of the gasket of the word top is used figure 1424. Two types of head gaskets can be used. One type of the red silicone, silicone bead, ceiling bead with the gauge. Um, gaskets does not require the additional part. For the other type does not have the red silicone ceiling beads. You must install water grommets into the gasket. 1424 installing the cylinder heading the gasket. 1425 installing the cylinder heads and also 1426 tightening the sequence for the cylinder head cap screws. One starting in the middle, marking your way out and cross section um, style with a bolt. Install two guides to with the cylinder block you with the guide with the pin for the help the install of the cylinder head with the correct position cylinder block install the T hand with the cylinder head. Put the uh, cylinder head over the guide pin for the into position cylinder block you with the T hand with the to lift the cylinder with the figure 1425. Lubricating the cylinder head cap screws preserve the oil with the drive the excessive press preserve the oil with the cap screw before installing them. The cylinder head with the cap screw with the turbocharged engine must have the letter N T on the head of the cap screw. Installing the washer cap screws tighten the cap screws and seek with figure four twenty six to tighten the cap screw with the torque value. Value is given in table three. Table three cylinder head cap screw torque value tighten one tighten the twenty to the twenty five foot pound max. Two tighten the eighty to one hundred foot pound max. Three tighten the two hundred sixty five to three hundred foot pound max. Install fuel crossover to install new oil rings, counter bores into the cylinder head. Install fuel crossing connections over the oil rings onto the cylinder loads. Figure 1427, the tightening of the screw for the fuel crossover. Um, fuel crossover. Three, install the screw to tighten the screw, the screw to 34 to 38 inches of pound torque. Install the fuel fittings tube and to apply the Teflon tape with the equivalent fitting to install the fuel and let the drain fitting into the cylinder head. Install the fuel and the fitting is in the same location as when they were removed. Tighten the one-eighth of an inch angle fitting to 150 inches pound of torque. The fitting of the not aligned with the fuel tubing and the, the turning of the fitting of the tightening of the direction of the lining of the fitting. Do not turn the fitting into the loose direction four. Install the fuel tube and the fitting to tighten with the load tube not the torque value with the given in the table four. One, one quarter inch to 120 to 145 pounds maximum. Uh, inches max, inches and pounds, um, torque, 5 sixteenths, 180 to 200 inches and pounds of torque, 2 one half to 275 to 335 inches and pounds of torque. Install the cam followers, push rods, install the cam follower gasket with the cylinder block with the used new gasket with the same thickness of the gaskets were removed. The big cam engine must have at least one printed O seal of the gasket with a silicone ceiling bead with each for the cam follower housing. Installing the print O seal gasket to show that against the cylinder block of the ceiling bead toward the cam follower housing, figure 428. So make sure the total gasket is the thickness for the small cam engine is at least 
increase 14,000 of an inch or not more than 125,000 of an inch total greater than the thickness for the big cam the engine must be taken between 14,000 of an inch and 80,000 of an inch uh, uh, and install the cam follower some leaf uh, help to um, hit the housing with a plastic hammer to push the housing onto the dowel pins install the cap screws lock washer tighten the cap screws 15 pounds uh, and it, um, torque and tighten the cap screws for 30 to 35 foot pounds 47 to 47 foot pounds of torque for a sequence 14 29 but tighten the cap screws lock the, lubricate the ball and with the push rods and with the uh, um, 1428, install the pruning OC over the cam fowler ga uh, gasket. 1429, tighten the sequence for the cam fowler housing. Ruby laid the ball in with the push rod with the 14, when 10, 140, lubricating over the ball in with the push rod and the socket over the cam fowler outside the diamond and checker push rod larger on the outside diamond with the push, ball push rod with the push rod intake of the exhaust valve that are the same and then install the injector push rod into the middle cam fowler. All right, and so the outer side of the dam with an injector push rod with either 750,000 of an inch or 656,000 of an inch for the outside of the dam with a push valve push rod is 625,000 of an inch for the big cam NTC 400 only. The valve push rod with the 7,000 of an inch no longer than longer than the injector push rod. See the table five the, to find the difference with the length between the push rod and the big cam engine push rod with the small cam engine. Table five push rod length of the injector and valves, um, two inch camshaft minimum maximum, two and a half inch camshaft and minimum maximum. The install of the, um, MVT cam follower. The three housing MVT cam follower must be installed with the engine assembly. Assemble the front of the rear housing assembly center housing. Note when the instruction refer to the front of the housing, front of the housing of the housing of the end of the housing near the front of the face of the cylinder block of the assembly. Install the engine. Insp insert the install the spline coupling on the shaft and so uh, from the front of the center housing. Install the new O ring center. Rectangular shield at each for the end of the center housing. Align the spines with the shaft at the front of the rear of the housing spines with the shaft. In the center housing using part number 337627 cam shambler shaft positioner. To turn the shaft, the, the, you can align the spines. D in the shaft, D in the shaft at the front of the housing and the spline coupling with the lining, line the dowel in the center of the housing, slide in the front of the housing. Push the shaft in the coupling of the until the housing with the angle of the rectangular seal. Install the shaft of the rear housing into the actuator gear with the center housing aligned with the dowel. The center housing do, with the slide of the rear housing, pushing the shaft in the gear until the housing is against the rectangular seal. To install the part number 337602828, variable timing fixture of the VV79029 bracket to the cam file or assembly 3367602828 with the holes of the housing and alignment 337602209. Um, for the holes of the cam file, level the upward position to prevent the damage of the camshaft for holders when assembly is installed in the engine. Make sure the rectangular seal that are in the correct position. Inspect the guide pin for the three caps and three three cap screws hold from the cylinder block and install the guide pin for that they will align with the top of the right hand cap screw. Hold each for the housing and show the cam file housing gasket on the dowel with the guide pins and the MVT for those only one gasket, only one gasket thickness. Apply the coat within thirty W weight lobe getting over the lobe of the camshaft and show the cam file assembly within the guide pin for the dowel pins figure four thirty. The caution the cam follower assembly is heavy, then another position of the, is to help lift, lift the assembly figure 3376028 and 3376029 from the assembly. Fit the housing and plastic hammer over the push on the dial pins, remove the guide pins, and install the cap screws, lock washer, tighten the cap screw with the center housing first, and tighten the cap screw with the same sequence for the use of the firm. Small cam, cam, the big cam engines, tighten the cap screw with 15 pounds of torque, the tighten the cap screw with 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. For small cam, big cam engine, the U for the cylinder number with one, three, and five with the check the injection type of the time of the small cam of the big cam, big cam engine, the U for the part number three, three, seven, five, five, two, two injection timing tools to check the timing. The timing tool is U for the check the timing of all the cumin engines that can be used. Is used with a rocker level to install with the engine. The for the instruction check of the timing, the install of the support bracket with the push rod adapter figure four thirty one, four thirteen thirty one with the slot near for the clamp handle with the four. But then install the piston rod with the four one fourteen thirty one. Install the injector sleeve number one cylinder and for that, and the timing tool of the cylinder head install the the adaptive kiss group with the mounting foot into the hole of the injector hold down plate. Uh, Using the tightening roll on the rod with the tightened red adapter, loosening the clamp handle for figure 1431 and lining the pushing rod adapter stick for the injector. Okay, the 1431 part number 337552-22 injector tool 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, 1432 for the injection timing procedure diagram. 1, 2, 3, 4. Push rod to tighten the clamp of the, uh, the handle below, below loosen the hammer uh, support bracket stick for the slight in the back. Slide, um, slide the bracket down until the adapter six is engaged with the push rod. Compromise the tension spring with the adapter approximately five, five tenths of an inch. Tighten the support bracket to make sure that the support bracket is aligned with the vertical line with the clamp handle bracket. 
Right, rotate the crankshaft the direction and the rotation of the top then center position with a compassion stroke with the number one cylinder and number figure one, figure fourteen thirty-two. Um loosen the side thumb screw with the position, travel the gauge for the gate gate mode, move the gauge for the stem over the gauge for the center of the position, plunge or drive the lower the gauge or against the piston plunger rod with the assembly fully compressed the rate for the gauge approximately twenty five thousand of an inch tighten the thumb screw to hold the gauge in position, rotate the crankshaft with the two to three degrees of the clockwise clockwise counterclockwise to make sure the piston and the top then center loosen the side screw, gauge dial and, and turn the dial so the indicator is zero, tighten the set screws. No, each gate of the timing tool have the total travel of one inch and the one revolution indicated the need of the one thousand one hundred one ten one hundred thousand of an inch and the travel of the indicator stem the, of the stem of the gauge for the compressor the indicator of the turn for the clockwise of the command revolution counter centers um the counterclockwise be sure to note the reading on the revolution in the top center of this will help you find the um find zero point two zero point two zero three two inch before the top dead center. Six, rotate the crankshaft direct of the engine, rotate the 90 degrees after the top dead center of the illusion of the thumb screw of the push rod to travel the gauge. Move the gauge over the stem of the gauge in the center, push of the rod, the lever adapted to the lower the gauge against the adapter until the stem is fully compressed, the raise of the gauge approximately 25,000 of an inch, tighten the thumb screw with the hold of the gauge within position, loosen the side of the screw the gauge dial with the turn of the dial so the indicator is zero, tighten the screw, rotate the crankshaft the opposite direction, engine with the rotation within until the UD is top dead center. And allow the rotate of the crankshaft slowly, watch the piston travel the indicator so the rate of the crankshaft continue with the rotate the crankshaft at the top center indicate indicated the show of the 225,000 inch two or one for the revolution indicated the needle path the top dead center of the step that is necessary to take the take up the gear lash of the engine seven the rotate the crankshaft of the direction engine for the rotation for the piston travel of 0.2032 of the bottom top dead center of the figure 432 four figure four four figure 432 the crankshaft of the engine compression stroke with the crankshaft of the ro rotate the top dead center on the compression stroke indicate the bolt engage with the move the same direction if they do not rotate the crankshaft the complete revolutions reach uh, precept Five, eight. I'll read the push rod to travel the gauge, but the push rod to travel the must be within the limits of the gauge and give it in table six. Never change the cam follow gasket and correct the injection time that you follow and check the following to the time tool and correcting correctly and solve the gauges are correctly. Adjust the crankshaft as run rotated in the correct direction. The cap screw of the cam follow is housing the Titan 30 to 35 foot pound torques and, um, the table six injection timing codes, push rods, um, travel the timing codes A through uh, and timing codes push rod and, and rod in inches and fast and slow advance for MVT timing. Nine, follow the steps four through eight to check for the injection timing cylinders number three through five. The reading the push rod to travel the gauge for the, and not to the limits given in the table six for the increase the degrees of the thickness of the cam flower gasket to correct the injection time that can increase the thickness of the gasket to advance the injection time of the right hand rotation engines. Decrease the thickness of the gasket, reach out the injection time of the right hand with the rotation, increase the thickness of the gasket, reach out the injection time, left hand rotation, and decrease the thickness of the gasket, advance of the injection time, left hand rotation engines. Seven, ten, and seven, you see the table seven for the thickness of the cam flower gasket, the amount of the chain for the push rod, travel to each for the gasket, do not increase the total gasket thickness more than 125,000 inch from the small cam engine for the more than 80,000 80, inch for the big cam engine for the small cam, the big cam engine for the most half of the least, 14,000 inch for the total gasket thickness, if you cannot correct with the injection time, then increase the degrees of the thickness of the gasket and install the object, offset camshaft of the table 8 with the following the correct uh, key with the following instructions the group 1 remove the install the camshaft key the MVT MVT injection time, time and the MVT system must be completely retarded with the checking the time remove the actuator capture for the actuator plunger to make sure that it's all the way down in the housing the plunger is now down in the body position rotate the crankshaft to calculate resolution this will cause the plunger to move down in the housing install part number 3375522 injection tool and the timing tool and the injector sleeve number 3 cylinder follow the instructions given in the small cam of the big cam engine installing the timing tool check the retarded engine injection time to follow the injection instruction given in the small cam big cam engine checking time and the push rod rod time troubles must be limits of the given in table three. Um for all these adjusting the inje injection time of the loosening spring retainer lock, lock nut, rotating, rotating the spring retainer to adjust the injection time of the use part number 337602, one of the retaining, retainer adjusting tool to rotate the spring retainer of the figure 1433, rotate the retainer clockwise to advance the timing, rotate, rotate the retainer clockwise, seven, seven, table 7, table 7 cam follower gasket, thickness gasket, number of thickness inches and changes push rod travel the inches and application. Table 8, time and key information. Three quarter inch key part number, the one inch key part number, the offset inch, uh, inch to the millimeter, time changing the equivalent gasket thickness and changing an inch to the millimeters. Alright. 1433, the U for the 337021 adjusting tool um, for the rotate, the spring retainer. 1434, the applying the air pressure for the actuator hose. 
Retard the timing one complete turn with the retaining of the chain with the push right try and travel approximately 14 4, and 4,000 Hold the spring retaining the position time the lock number 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. The check of the vines time with the number three cylinder and show the air supply line with the air and the actuator housing air supply must have more than 80 psi air pressure for the 12 volt with the DC current with the NVT solenoid. You can use the battery charge to blood supply electrical current. Air pr apply air pressure to move the actuator plunger with the advanced um, position figure 1434. For the actuator plunger must move freely at advanced, advanced position. Check the advanced timing of the sheet table. Check the line the correct of the specification of the advanced timing. Remove the air supply line with the electrical current. After checking the advanced timing, install the 3375522 timing tool for the injector sleeve of the next cylinder to be checked with the following engine firing order. Sheet table 9 for the, engine, for the, the engine firing, firing order. Table 9 for the engine following order of the cylinder 153624. Check the retarding injection time. Follow the instruction. Given the time, check on the timing of the number three cylinder. Install the actuator cap to tighten the cap to 25 to 30 foot pounds of torque. And note the difference for the timing of the cylinder. They add another can be 4,000 an inch of the MVT engine. One piece can be a uh, can follow gasket that can have change the thickness for the gasket and adjusting the timing of each for the cylinder. Installing the accessory drive of the assembly and rotate the crankshaft the direction of the engine with the rotation number one cylinder. The top dead center for the compression stroke. Rotate the crankshaft the direction and for the rotation 90 degrees after the top dead center. Install the accessory drive of the assembly. Make sure that the timing marks on the accessory drive for the gear align with the, the timing marks on the camshaft. Figure 1435. Also, the timing marks the note that the timing marks on the accessory drive gear and the camshaft gear must be aligned so that the valve injector adjustment makes the accessory drive pulley correctly aligned. Tighten the cap screw 40 to 45 pound foot pound foot pounds of torque. Figure 435 and 1435 aligning the timing marks. Also, checking the backlash of the gear 1436. Checking the accessory drive gear with the camshaft gear backlash. Install the dial indicator gauge for the cylinder black position. The gauge so the sam is against both the tooth and the accessory drive gear. Figure 1436. Rotate the accessory drive gear as far as the truly move the turn the dial with the gauge zero. Rotate the accessory drive gear in the opposite direction, reading the gauge to show the amount of the backlash between the gears. The normal amount of the backlash between the new accessory drive gear and the new camshaft gear is 14, 4,000, 4, Thousand an inch to sixteen thousand an inch, or to the backlash must be at least two thousand an inch. Uh, install the lubricating oil pump. The new gasket with the oil onto the mounting flange for the oil pump position. Position the pump in the mounting hole for the cylinder block. Make sure the gear of the teeth of the pump line with the camshaft gear with the camshaft. And can the, install the cap screw lock washer in the past and with the pump with the cylinder block tight and the cap screw thirty five to forty five foot pound torque. Check the backlash for the pumping gear. Figure fourteen thirty seven. They use the same procedure, but then you the check with the backlash accessory drive gear. Install the power steering pump with the oil pump with the engine with the oil is equipped. Install the oil filter assembly with the oil pump the engine so equipped. Make sure that you install the new oil ring of the pilot filter element tight in the center bolt the twenty five thirty five foot pounds of the torque. Install the gear case cover the put the new gear cover the gas get ga cover gasket onto the gear case cover. Or you use the luber luber plate with the or equivalent. To um, hold the gasket on the gear case cover and see the part with the cat for car cat catalog with the find the gasket car part number. Figure 438 shows the check the concentricity of the oil seal bearing bore. Um, installing the gear cover over the dial pin, tighten the cap screw 45 to 55 foot pounds. The torque cut over the end of the gear cover, cut off the end of the gear cover with the gasket so that the gasket is even with the mounting flange for the oil pan. Check the alignment of the oil pan mounting flange for the gear cover over the oil pan mounting flange for the cylinder block. The gear cover the most flange must be even with the cylinder block ranging flange within four th four plus positive um, within 4,000 an inch. The oil seal bearing and gear cover must have the common center, center of the crankshaft, the dial indicator gear to check the concentricity. Figure 1438, um, the total indicator reading must not exceed 10,000 inch. And the reading exceeding 10,000 an inch from doing the following. Remove the gear cover, the, remove the gasket gear cover to make sure the gear cover of the cylinder block are clean. Make sure the dial of the pins for the cylinder block are not damaged. Install the new gasket on the gear cover. Install the gear cover of the cylinder block. Make sure the gear cover is correctly installed with the dial pins. Check out the concentricity. Install the new oil seal with the gear cover. The view for the part number SC1259 Mandrel with the part number 3375151 Pilot. Install the seat. Figure 1439. View the part number SC1172 with the Mandrel. Install the seal with the end of the end of the crankshaft dampered. And so the new necessary, new accessory drive oil seal with the gear with the cover. The used part number SC1173 the Mandrel. Install the seal with the figure 1440. Caution, do not use any lubricating with install the LDL lay down lip of the Teflon fuel for oil and, and, and oil seal. The lip of the, the oil seal, lip of the seal on the oil side of the diamond shaft must be clean and dry. Install the support bearing with the thrust plate and the gear cover to make sure the gear clearance of the, between the support bearing with the thrust plate and then the cam shaft is correct. 1439 shows installing the oil seal and 1440 shows the installing the dry and the oil seal for the accessory driver. Oh, Driver. Um, 1441, the camshaft thrust plate, and also 1442, camshaft bearing plate, 1443, the measuring of the clearance of the bearing support. 
Some of the engines that support the bearing of the gear can cover the even the thrust plate 1441. Um, figure 1442 support the bearing clearance with up to 8,000 of 13,000 inch with the thrust plate clearance with 1,000 of 5,000 inch. Remove the O ring with the space for the support the bearing of the thrust plate. Put the bearing board with support bearing with the thrust plate on the board sink gear to cover the whole of the bearing plate with the so that the belt would against the end of the camshaft. Use the failure gauge to measure for the space between the counting flange of the support gauge bearing with the thrust gauge to be covered with the figure 1443. The measurement to find the thickness of the spacer needs to provide with the correct current clearance. Um, 1443, measuring the clearance with the bearing support, you for the micrometer to measure for the thickness of the spacer, add to remove the space with need to make the clearance correct, then install the new O-ring space for the support of the bearing with the thrust plate, install the bearing in the plate with the gear cover the thread and the cap screws 15 to 25 foot-pounds of torque, installing the accessory drive pulley, install the tapered end with the pin with the accessory drive shaft of the figure 1444, note that the pipe, the plug, and the gear cover the can be removed so that you can, um, you can see the timing marks on the gear, make sure the timing marks are aligned, figure 1445, plug plug must, um, has been removed, install the plug, and then tighten the pipe plug with the to 45 foot pounds of torque. Apply the coat of lubricate and lubricate plate with the equivalent of the drive shaft to align the keyway with the pulley over the roll pin with the kit shaft and push the pulley over the roll pin but on the shaft use your hand on to start the pulley on the shaft. Install part number 3376326 pulley assembly tool for the drive shaft use 3376326 install the pulley on the shaft figure 1446. All right, 1444, installing the pin on the accessory drive shaft. Um, 1445, the timing mark for the accessory drive. Then 1446, installing the accessory drive. Remove the SC386 with the install of the rubber keyway. Seal with the pole key with the way. Make sure that the one leg with the seal of the tour with the drive shaft. Install the flat washer pole retaining ring with the tighten the flange retaining ring. Retaining now up to 300 to 310 foot pounds of torque with the tighten the retaining thrum. The nut that does not have the torque flange of 90 to 110 foot pounds of torque. Install the air compressor. Couple the driving the single cylinder air compressor must not be timed in engine firing as thought order with the following instructions. Installing installation. Installing, installing time in the cylinder, single cylinder air compressor. Rotate the engine crankshaft until the A valve. Set and mark on the accessory drive fully aligned with the rope pointer of the gear cover the hold the gear compressor so the locking looking at the coupling end of the crankshaft to rotate the air compressor crankshaft then until the key of the timing marker is positioned halfway between the nine o'clock and ten o'clock hour. Um, install the spline, spline that coupling with the air compressor crankshaft or install the air compressor with the new gasket with the air compressor dr accessory drive to tighten the cap screws to 40, 45 pounds to foot pounds of torque. Install the support bracket with the air compressor with the cylinder bracket to tighten the cap screws to 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. Install the vibration damper. The vibration damper to mounting flange with the tampered end of the crankshaft to make sure the mounting flange the top hits correctly over the crankshaft with light even cover with the black blue, blue compound brush and blue to the tampered end of the crankshaft pull the flange out of the crankshaft. Rotate the flange approximately one eighth of the turn. Remove the flange. Check the pattern with the compound the inside of the diameter flange. The pattern should be show the low diameter with the crankshaft flow on the flange with 100% contact with the crankshaft. With 100% with the contact extend with at least one half inch toward the end of the crankshaft. The remainder of the flange must have at least 70% of the contact with the crankshaft. The 50, five of the clean the blue compound of the flange with the crankshaft. Seven the man glow inspection with the check of the flange of the crack. If the change of flange does not have the uh, fit in the crankshaft correctly, make sure the inside out diameter and the flange and the outside diameter of the crankshaft free damage with the rough of the surface apply with the coat of the gray of the gray. A with the taming compound with the inside of the diameter of the flange. Put the flange out of the crankshaft. Rotate the flange one half turn into each of the direction. You the flange so the flange is in, it fits onto the crankshaft correctly. For, clean the lapping compound from the flange for the crankshaft. Caution: Make sure that there are none flapping compound gets onto the crankshaft ceiling of the engine. The following steps: one through five. Make sure the flange is correctly onto the crankshaft and install the mounting flange with the vibration damper. So, I, I'm applying lubricating with air with the crankshaft with the flange of the lube, uh, is in top of the USA 30 with the preservation oil. Caution, make sure the lubricating does not touch the crankshaft seal. Do not apply the lubrication when you install the seal of the cast iron part to number 1155262111563175183 and 175185. Uh, install the mounting flange with the crankshaft. Use the hand, hand for the pushing of the flange onto the crankshaft. Install the retainer cure app screw to hold the flange on the crankshaft. Tighten the part number 14010 cap screw 180 to 200 foot pounds of to, to port to the torque. To tighten the part number 196653 cap screw 250 to 200. 75 foot pounds of torque. Install the vibration damper with the mounting of the flange. Install the cap screw with the new clock place behind the end of the cap. End of the lock plates against the head of the cap screws. Any time when the cap screws 55 to 60 foot pounds of torque, move the measure the movement. They circle on the face with the vibration damper. The, install the dial indicator gauge with the gear cover with the shown figure 1447. The position the tip of the indicator pointing A. But the rotate the crankshaft to all indicator reading with 
the measurements exceed 3,000 an inch per one inch of the vibration di di damper diameter. To measure the movement of the face of the vibration damper, to put it in the tip of the indicator point B for the rotate the crankshaft. The crankshaft must be in the front of the rear thrust screws where you measure the movement of the total indicator reading not exceeding 25, 25, 10,000 an inch or per one, th one, uh, one inch movement of the radius or edge measure for the center of the vibration damper. The figure 40, 47, the measurement of the circumference, circumference of the and the face of the vibration damper. Um, Install the vibration damper and pull the straight end with the crankshaft. Install the front end with the engine engine support. With the engine has one tightened cap screw with 55 foot pounds of torque. Cause to make sure the mounting surface of the vibration damper, the pulley, and cleaning driver are not uh, applied any lubricant. Install the guide pin with the end with the crankshaft. Install the pulley and the vibration damper with the end of the pin guide pin, pins. Apply the coating clean with the SA30 blade lubricating oil with the threads of the cap screw face of the washer. Install the cap screws washer to hold the pulley vibration damper onto the crankshaft. Tighten the cap screw with the torque valve again. Table 10. Table 2 vibration damper the cap screw with the torque valve. One and a half and SA grade A. With 115 to 125 pound foot, foot pounds, but 5 eighths of an inch to SA grade um, 8, with 180 to 200 pounds of foot, pound, pound, foot pounds, 5 eighteenths of an inch SA grade 5, with 150 pounds to 170 maximum foot pounds. Measure the move of the circumference of the face with the vibration damper. The procedure is given to install the mounting flange, the vibration damper to set A5 and A. Install the water pump, the eccentric water pump to install the water pump slump with the port, support new gasket cylinder, black of the figure 14, 48 with the tighten the cap screw, 30 foot pounds of the torque, then install the water pump with the support, and install the Fan bracket the clamp the ring of the engine does not have the fan bracket installed the lock washer began screws turn the cap screw thirty to five foot pounds the torque of the tire in the body of the pump is clockwise so the water pump of the pulley moves toward the accessory drive pulley. Fourteen forty eight installing the water pump support, fourteen forty nine installing the fan bracket, and fourteen fifteen and tightening the sequence of the fan bracket uh, sequence of the fan bracket. Three install in the belt with the water pump pulley with accessory drop pulley with the tight in the bolt, bolt belt tension with the 90 to 110 pounds of, pounds of, pounds of, of the belt tension pull, 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 put a large screw with the plus, um, large screwdriver into the slide and the pull up the body to turn the body kind of clock with the tight in the bolt. You the part number SC1138 with the belt tension engage to check with the belt tension tab to tighten the cap screw with the fan bracket with the clamping ring. And following the tighten sequence shown in the figure 1450, with the tighten the cap screws in 12 to 15 foot pounds of torque in the water pump, the idler pulley, install the water pump at the bit, idler assembly, new gasket cylinder, black in 1451. 1451, installing the water pump and the idler pulley, tighten the cap screws sequence shown in the figure 1452, turn the cap screws to 10 foot pounds of torque, tighten the cap screws to 20 foot pounds of torque, turn the cap screws to 34, 35 foot pounds of torque, install the bell on the water pump, the water pump, idler accessory drive pulley, tighten the lock nut and idler pulley, straight shaft of 5 to 6 foot pounds of torque. Turn the adjusting screws tight in the belt to tighten the belt so that they have 100 to 110 pounds of tension. Pounds of tension. Use the part number SC 1274 the belt tension gauge to check the belt tension. Tighten the lock nut with the other pulley shaft. 45 to 55 foot down with the torque. Check the belt tension again. Having tightened the lock nut with the belt tension between 120 to 140 pounds of um, pounds of torque. If the tension is not correct, loosen the lock nuts. Repeat A, B, and C. Install the hand hub bracket with the water pump. The housing tighten the cap screws 70 to 80 foot pounds of torque. 1452, so have the tightening sequence for the water pump idler. 1, 2, one, two 3, 4, 5, 6. Um, 1453, adjusting the te belt tension. Install the rear cover of the oil seal. Make sure the oil seal area is on the crankshaft of the clean and drive you with the cro cro crocus cloth to parallel polish the crankshaft. You with the clean cloth of the clean crash shaft. Install the rear cover of the get near gaffer is under the cylinder block of the tighten the cap screw with enough to hold the rear cover of the position. Install the part number SD997. Oil seal driver onto the crankshaft and into the board of the rear of the cover of the SD997 is aligned with the rear of the cover of the crankshaft. The SD996 of the button for that must be removed. The SD997 of the driver to check the alignment of the rear cover of the ND. I'll indicate the figure 1454. 14 54, checking the alignment of the rear cover, the rear cover that must be given the common center for the crankshaft within 10,000 inch, uh, 10,000, 10,000 an inch, and the total indicative reading for the reading cover that must be secured for the, the center line with the crankshaft within 10,000 10, an inch, for the total indicative reading of the rear cover the must be 4,000 an inch, and the being flat with the wall pan with the flange cylinder black with the tight and the cap screw 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. Remove the SG99 from the crankshaft to cut off the excessive gasket material so that the gasket is even not more than 10,000 an inch above the oil pan flange. Seven inch the seal assembly tool only to the crankshaft of the hood, the largest inside diameter onto the tool for toward the default cylinder block, the LDL TFL or lay down Teflon lay down lip Teflon oil seal for the surface of the replacement have an assembly tool. Protect the seal ring lip during the shipment and installation causing the um, lay down lip Teflon oil seal must be reinstalled with the lip of the seal with the crankshaft clean and dry does not aim to use any kind of lubrication. Proceed oil seal with the assembly tool with the crankshaft remove the assembly tool with the install the oil seal with the rear cover, then install the SC nine nine seven six buttons into the SC nine 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 seven the seal driver, they use the seal driver, then push the oil seal into the rear cup of the figure 1455. Figure 1455, installing the oil seal, installing the flywheel housing. 
Make sure the mounting strip of the flywheel housing is clean, free of the damage, and solve the new crankshaft of the floor of the gasket. Then take the flywheel housing, you of the gasket, cement, and install the, install the gear gasket housing. So the cement must be completely dry before installing the flywheel housing. The two and one half inch cam, big cam, the engines over the cups, plug, plug seal in the rear camshaft bore with the engines door in the nor, nor require the camshaft bore gasket to fly with the housing. Remove the, the, the dowels the, when you install the new flywheel housing. Remove the dowels if they damage damage outside damage with the dowels measuring less than five. Five hundred five thousand five thousand five inch uh, thousands ten thousand of an inch. Install the two two lights over the cylinder block. Support the flywheel housing. Install the fly housing. Tighten the cap screws ten to twenty five foot pounds of torque. Remove the studs. Install the tightening remaining screws. Cap screws. Check the loop, loop, loop location of the bore. Install the part number SC thirteen twenty five dial gauge attachment crankshaft. Install the part number three three seven six zero five zero dial gauge attachment figure fourteen fifty six fourteen fifty six. Checking the location of the bore using the chalks to mark the housing of the position of twelve three six and nine o'clock. Rotate the crankshaft. Checking the housing of the bore at three o'clock nine o'clock. The total indicator reading. Exceed the limit of the given the table level of the moving the housing horizontal direction one of the housing to half the distance of the total indicator read with the pry bar moving the housing the rotate rotate the crankshaft check with the housing board with the twelve o'clock six o'clock file the procedure given in step three move the but move the, uh, the housing vertical uh, housing vertical direction until the reading within the limits. Check the circumference of the board to total indicated reading with must not exceed the limit that given in table 111. The reading within the limits to tighten the cap screw sequence figure 1457 to 140 to 160 foot pounds of torque. Check the alignment um, figure 1457 to tighten the sequence with the flywheel housing cap screw. Check the alignment of the housing face and then install the dial gauge attachment to the dial gauge as shown in figure 1456. Push the crankshaft toward the front of the engine and remove the crankshaft and clearance. 15, 14, 58. Check the alignment of the housing face. Table 11, the flywheel housing specifications, the SA number and the board diameter, re reference only the board time, to location to, uh, tolerance, and free uh, alignment tolerance. Rotate the crankshaft, check the alignment of the base of the flywheel housing, make sure that the crankshaft is pushed toward the front of the engine with the check of alignment, make sure the whole indicator reading must not exceed the limits of the given in Table 11, the dial pins, and solve the dial pins, remove the cylinder block with the use of the drill, re-aiming, fix sure to re-aim the dial pins in the next oversight, then solve the dial pins, dial pins must be even with the 10,000 inch below the surface of the housing of the closing the clo close the flywheel. The flywheel housing closed with the wet clutch to seal. If the engine was to be tested with the dyno meter, does not install the wet clutch seal until after the engine is to be tested. Any use of the width without the clutch the will destroy the clutch seal. Install the housing new o room with the cylinder black check with the location of the board with the alignment of the space. The same procedure for the check of the location alignment is for the dry floor flywheel housing. Use the same procedure. Install the oversized the dry pin for the dry and for the dry housing. Install the new seal. It will put the seal care care of the lip of the seal must be forward with the flywheel to use the part of the catalog to find the correct seal part Number the install the seal corrector, new gasket for the fly housing, tighten number the nylon cap, screw the two, the three foot pound torque. Six, check alignment of the seal carrier with the line with the seal carrier, and so that the common center of the crankshaft is an 8,000 inch of the indicator reading. The type in the cap screw the 8 foot and 9 foot pound of the torque. Never operate the engine without the clutch oil in the housing. Operating without the clutch oil will damage the clutch seal and clutch. Insult in the flywheel. No, when an installation of the new flywheel, remove the dowel, then install the two guys with the stove with the 518 to 18 threads, the 518 to 18 threads with the 6 inches along with the crankshaft of the lens, install the fly, flywheel with the stove with the line with the dowel, hold the flywheel crankshaft, install the tightening screw and tightening of the cap screw, lubricate the threads of the cap screw, face the hardened wash for the 30 weight, 30W oil. Use the sequence of the shown figure 1459, tighten the cap screw the fly, until the flywheel is against the crankshaft lens, remove the guy with the studs, install the remaining type 2 cap screw, the tighten the cap screw. Screw for the use of the hardened flat washer with 200 220 foot pounds of torque. Tighten the cap screw that have safety wire holes that have head cap screws 190 to 200 foot pounds of torque. Figure 1459, tighten the sequence of the flywheel sequence um, 246. Checking the location for the board bearing bore, and then so uh, check the location for the pilot bearing bearing bore. Installing SC 1325 the attachment of the 337650 guide for the flywheel housing. Put the tip of the indicator for the position figure 1460, and the total indicator reading must not be exceed 5,000 inch of incomplete revolution of the wheel. Check alignment of the cloth to the clutch face for those flywheel with the crankshaft at the end of the movement. Change the indicator reading. Make sure that the crankshaft is removed on the way toward the front of the engine. Move the indicator so that the position is shown figure 1461. 1461, checking the alignment of the face, rotating the crankshaft with the reading, the indicator, the total indicator reading must not exceed 5,000, 5, 10,000 of an inch per one inch for the flywheel diameter. Install the oil pan note. The oil pan you with an 80 degree of the tilt with the engine and the machine ball for the oil gauge, the fill bracket with the engine, alternator bracket with the lifting eye with the install those parts that they're using, installing the oil pan. And so, install the two guides to the side with the oil pan flange with the cylinder block, pull the oil pan and new gasket over the guide with the studs. Use the hand insulation with the hand to install the cap screws, washers, and lock washers. Figure 1462, installing the 
two caps group of the buttress for the end of the oil pan. Figure 1463, install in the cap screw for the oil pan. You put the following seat for the tightening the cap screw for the pistol to prevent the damage of the oil pan flying out. The install of the tightening the major cap screw for the two buttress supply wheel housing. 1462, tighten the two cap screws each side of the oil pan flange for the tightening the cap screw is located halfway between the front and the rear of the oil pan. Remove the cap screw that were installed in the step 3A with it's necessary to provide the clearance to perform the following. The tightening cap screw through a hole at the rear of the corner of the oil pan with the cylinder block. Remove the cap screw for the install of the cap screw to tighten the cap screw to hold the oil pan with the cylinder block of the front cover the tightening the cap screw 35 to 40 foot pounds of torque. Tighten the cap screw to hold the oil plan, buttress the flywheel housing, buttress tighten the cap screw 70 to 80 foot pounds of torque, tighten the cap screws to hold the oil pan with the rear cover of the gap, play with tighten the cap screws 15 to 20 foot pounds of torque, and also install the oil suction tube, the oil, uh, after applying clean lubricating oil to the tube, and that's the end of the tube sleeve, the assemble of the tube sleeve, the nuts for the oil suction tube, then install the oil pump adapter oil pan flange, pan flange onto the tube, the nuts that do not have to tighten, install the oil pan flange and new gasket onto the oil pan, do not tighten the cap screws, push from the tube sleeve and assemble into the oil Pump the adapter until the against the bottom of the adapter. Use your hand to tighten the nut, then tighten the nut. Additional one and one quarter of the turn. Figure 464. Use your hand to tighten the hand to tighten the tube nuts. The oil pump suction flange to tighten the cap screws. Hold the suction flange in the uh, to the oil pan 30 to 30 foot five foot pounds of torque to tighten the tube and nut until the against the top so it stop stop on the suction flange. Figure 464. Installing the oil suction tube. Um, for installing the fuel pump. Installing the buffer spine with the coupling of the air compressor accessory drive. Installing the fuel pump. New gasket into the air compressor accessory. Drive tighten the cap screw 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. Figure 1465 and so on the fuel line with the solenoid valve. 1465, then installing the fuel pump, then installing the injector, the new oil ring the, into the injectors, the low cut, low, light coat of the clean and lubricating oil in the injector body with the oil rings. Ins, ins, install the injector with the cylinder head with the line of the screen with the fuel inlet hole for the, so the, the tour of the exhaust side with the cylinder head to use the part number 33760000. Injector puller, install the PT and the type D injector, then install the pulley tool. One, two, the injector quick with the hand push for the injector board with the use of part number 3375161. Um, injector puller to install the stop injector to use the same procedure as the PT type D injector to install the hold down plate with the counter bowl and up to the end to the injector install the plunger link to the end into the injector plate and tighten the cap screw for the hold down plate with the screw increments of four foot pounds until they and torque until they tighten to a 10 foot 10 to 12 foot pounds of torque tighten the nylock cap screw to 12 to 14 foot pounds of torque caps injector plunger for the free movement they are tightened with the hold down plate with the plunger do not move freely loosen the cap screw to tighten the corrective torque check the injector plunger at the top of the stop and check the injector plunger must rotate freely Install the thermostat housing the water weight water manifold. Install the new O ring with the water manifold with the coupling pipe. Within. Install the coupling pipe with the water manifold. Section and crew, uh, apply the greasing seal ring for the water of the manifold thermostat of housing. Within. Install the seal ring for the counter bore into the cylinder measure. The position the water manifold and assembly onto the cylinder head. Install the tightened cap screw with the 30 35 foot pounds of torque. Install the front section with the thermostat housing. New gas and make sure the thermostat has been correctly installed with the housing according to the instruction given them in group eight. With the tightened cap screw 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. Then install the water of the bypass tube. Install the adjusting cross uh, cross headed loop. Okay, the end of the valve stem of the entire crosshead of the guide with the clean oil. It's all the crosshead of the until the crosshead of the guide, the adjusting screw of the must be absorbed with the water made the manifold loosen. Adjusting screw with the lock nut lock, lock, lock loosen the adjusting screw one half turn note. The engine's equipped with the Jacob the brake is usually a spe uh, special crosshead for the exhaust um, valve C group twenty. Hold the crosshead down with the with the valve stem with the nearest and put into the position shroud and then uh, let use the light pressure to hold the crosshead to turn the adjusting screw until the touch of the valve of the stem. Figure fourteen sixty five fourteen sixty six, hold the crosshead adjusting screw with the position. Tighten the lockdown, tighten the lockdown, 14, 25 foot, 30 foot pounds of torque when the part of the number of the ST669 torque wrench adapters use to tighten the lockdown to 22 to 26 foot pounds of torque. Check the clearance between the cross head valve of the spring retainer of the 1 and 2, figure 1467, and the wire gauge of the clearance of the check of the clearance for the clearance between them it must be a minimum of the 25,000 of an inch. 1466 adjusting the crosshead. Also 1467 checking the uh, check these areas of the sequence on one one and two and two of the uh, and 1468 the correct position with adjusting screw. Um, Install the rocket level of the housing, new rocket level of the gasket within school and cylinder head within install the two guide pins each for the cylinder head with the guide pins but not low enough to protrude with above the top of the surface to lose the lock nut adjusting screw load. Reducing the adjusting screw there is and um that is maximum of one in two hundred fifty five thousandths of an inch from the top of the surface screw of the lever of the battle ball and with adjusting screw fourteen sixty eight. Caution if the adjusting screw protrude the between beyond the maximum of the shown fourteen sixty eight the push rod of the damage when the when when you tighten the cap screw for the housing. 
1468 at the correct position with adjusting screw with the fork one and one quarter inch. I hold the lever of the position and install the housing with the guide pin for the cleanse owner head. Pull the bulb and the engine adjusting screw with the cycle of the push rod. Remove the guide pin and install the fan bracket brace for the engine. It's equipped the engine lifting bracket with the use of the longest cap screw with the install the fan bracket. The fan bracket brace for the lifting bra bra bracket. Check the alignment of the oil spray nozzle with the 80 degree tilt engine for the ST1182 spray nozzle locator to check alignment. Tighten the cap screw with the sequence shown in 1496, uh, 1469, 55 to 65 foot pounds of torque. 1469, the Titan sequence for the rocket level housing cap screws. One, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. And standing the fan hub with the pulley, the tightened the cap screw with the fan bracket, the brace for the 70 to 80 foot pound, then install the fan hub with the assembly for the fan hub bracket, then install the fan hub with the adjusting screw, then fit the cap screw with the fasten the same lead through the bracket, to tighten the cap screw with 3 to 5 foot pound, the torque, then if the margin nut with the jeep, the fasten the assembly bracket, to tighten the nut with the 45 to 55 foot pound, the torque, loosen the adjusting screw with the fan hub to the lowest position, install the new button, pull belts on the fan pull uh, up the pulley, accessory drive pulley, tighten the fan, adjusting the screw until the belts with the 90 to 110 pounds of tension, the SC 11 38, the gauge for the tech check with the belt, the tension, tighten the cap screw with the margin, and up with the correct torque, and value, tighten the cap screw with the 70 to 80 foot pounds of the torque, and tighten the margin, and up with the 400 to 455 pounds of torque, loosen the head and up with adjusting the screw, one half turn belt installation tension. To install the, install the belts, when two identical belts are used with the same pulley, all the belts must be replaced at the same time. Make sure a distance, a distance between the pulley container with the short and possibly when you install the belts. Do not roll the belts over the pulley. Do not use the tool to pry the belts over the pulley. Pulley must be not more than one alignment, more than one sixteenth of an inch over the each of the twelve inch of the distance between the pulley centers. The belts must not touch the bottom of the pulley groove. The belts, but the belts must be Protrude more than 332 of an inch for the above the outside diameter of the pulley while the indicator belt is installed on the pulley with the protrusion of the belt must be very more than 1 16th of an inch. Make sure the belts do not touch the hit and against any of the part of the engine. To adjust the belts, use part number SC1274 of the belt tension gauge. Check the tension of the belt there and there for 3 eighths of an one half inch for the, um, and wide. Use the SC1138 of the gauge to check the belts that are 11, 1 and 11 16th of an inch to 7 18th of an inch wide. Use the SC1293 gauge to check the poly V belt. Tighten 3 eighths of an inch, 1 half inch, um, wide belts with a reading of the 100 20 to 140 inch belt, um, belt pounds indicated by the gauge tighten the 11 16th to 7 8th of an inch um, to wide belts to reading of the 90 to 110 pounds indicated with the gauge for the tighten the poly V belt the reading of the 140 to 160 pounds indicated by the gauge after the engine has been running for about at least one hour stop the engine and check the belt tension if the tension is left in the valve the given with the step B with adjust the belt and the correct valve correct value Install the engine brake. Then install the engine brake of the Jacob brake of the engine with the so with the grip of the valve. The instructions given them the group of twenty. Adjusting the valve the injector with the valve the injector must always be correct with adjusting the engine with the engine and the operating efficiently. Adjusting the valve of the injector to determine the type of the rocket level of the housing. Uh, Use an engine C table fourteen to define the correct value of the aluminum cast iron rocking housing, rocker housing. For to note the, the adjusting the valve of the injector with the hand left hand the rotation engine must sure that make sure that you use the correct sequence shown in table twelve. The dial indicator method adjusting the indicator. Caution: Do not use the method adjusting. The top stop, 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 top stop of the injector. You rotate the crankshaft in the direction of the engine with the rotation of the line with the A and one sixth valve, one, one through one sixth valve, sen valve settings mark. 1470 alignment, the timing marks for the potential pointer of the, of the gear cover. The, um, 1471 timing marks for the accessory and 1472 checking of the travel of the injector plunger. The driver pulley. On the accessory driver of the pulley with the point of the gear cover, the fill will be here 1470 and 1471 with the, when the A and the one-sixth valve um, setting, um, setting mark with this line with the phone pointer, then take the exhaust valve and the sign cylinder is number five must be in closed position. Injector plunger and the cylinder number three must be at the top of the travel of the valve to are closed with the lever of the road cylinder number five will be loose. If they are not, rotate the crankshaft 360 degrees, align the mark of the pulley of the pointer with the point of the instruction the cylinder number three begin with the injector adjustment and illustration purposes it can begin with the adjusting adjustment any of the cylinders is shown in table table twelve. Table twelve the injector hand hand valve setting position right hand rotation direction at star A one through six valves valves and set, set injector three three and valve five adjuster B two and five valve setting six injector for the valve three adjusting three three and four valve setting two and six Injector two and valve six, adjusting A and one six of eight valve setting was injector four, valve two, adjusting B two and five, valve setting one, injector one, valve four. 
and adjusting C and three four valve setting five and one left handed rotation engine one six valve setting setting injector two and four and three and four is setting injector six and two um injector six and valve two two uh, five valve setting three um inje set injector three with the valve six one six valve setting five and injector valve three three and four valve setting one and injector valve negative five two and five valve setting four and negative um inje four injector valve one Table um, three and table thirteen engine firing order right hand one five three six two four left hand one four two six three five table fourteen adjusting it limited using dial indicator inches oil temp injector trap tra plunger travel to involve a clearance indicated exhaust aluminum rocker housing cast iron rocker housing NTE urban bearing big cab and NT five two five restraining big cab always check the engine data to plate for the injector valve adjustment valve values the definition of the cold engine must be at a stabilized water temperature of one hundred forty five degrees fair and below. 1473, actuate the rocket level. The definition of hot oil, some of the oil pan temperature must be a minimum of 190 degrees fire over the water with the time temp cooling temperature of um, 85, uh, uh, 1850 Fahrenheit. The hot value is given with the engine begin with the test of the dynamometer at least the time. The, so these times between the adjustment must be made. Use the part number 3375842 injector adjustment kit to check the travel of the injector plunger and show the indicator support the extension for the dial indicator adjusting the expand injector plug and plunger of the um, figure 1472 to make sure the extension for the correctly and show the indicator stem that does not touch with the rocker level the actuator of the rocker level to push for the injector plunger for the plug. Bottom of the travel the U of the SD and the 1193 rocker level the actuator 3375 and 842 for the adjusting kit of the actuator the rocker level the figure 1473 the plunger arrived at the top of the travel the actuator the level the game with the set of the indicator of the zero with the bottom of the plunger at the bottom of the travel to tighten the rocket level with the adjusting screw until the injector plunger with the correct level is shown in table 14. Hold the adjusting screw in the position, tighten the lock nut 40 and 45 with the torque with the actuate rocket level to three times, two to three times to make it sure of the adjusting correctly when you put the ST669, the adapter to tighten the lock nut and tighten the lock nut 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. Adjusting the valve. After the adjusting the injector of the valve, there must be the adjustment of the cylinder shown at the table 12. Then before the rotate with the crankshaft near the adjusting mark, make sure the lock nuts adjusting screws are loose. Put the feeler gauge between the rocket level and the context of the cross edge. Figure 1474. See table 14 to find the correct length of the feeler gauge. Um, figure 1474 for the adjusting the valve. Type of the adjusting screw of the rocket level touching the touch of the feeler gauge for the hold of the adjusting screw of the position of the set light and the lock nut with the 40 45 foot pounds of torque. When you use the SG669 adapter to tighten the lock nut with 35 to 40 foot pounds of torque, repeat the procedure adjust the remaining of the valve the dust to the stop and top stop with injectors note that the adjusting injector the engine for the MVT MVT actuator must feel they be retarded in position top stop and injector plunger travel can be adjusted when the injectors are injectors are removed from the engine using part number three three seven nine six one six zero adjusting tools to adjust the plunger travel rotate the crankshaft shaft the direction engine for the rotation line with the valve setting mark on the accessor accessory drive pulley when the pointer of the gear cover the lock loosen the lock down with the right cover the lever the adjusting the screw tap the and the adjusting screw until they clear to remove the butt between the rocket level and the injector link with the tight and adjusting screw. One additional turn, loosen the adjusting screw until the spring washer is adjusted against the top injector of the figure 1475. 1475 is the top and stop, stop, top stop injector washing against the, to um, the stop. Also, tighten the adjusting screw. Um, 1476 for the adjusting screw. Alright, tighten the adjusting screw five to six in, in five to six inches a pound. The torque with the use of part number three three seven five three two three two. The torque will wrench for the limit of the figure fourteen seventy six. If it did not have the torque wrench, tighten the screw until the light pressure for the gun for the in injection of the length of the length must be freely enough that you can rotate the your hand. Hold the adjusting screw with the position. Tighten the lock down with the forty to forty five pounds of to foot per, foot per twelve pounds of torque. When you have the ST six six nine adapter, tighten the lock down with thirty to thirty five foot pounds of torque. The to torque method to adjust the injector. Rotate the crankshaft the direction of the engine with the rotation aligned with the marking of the pulley with the Point of the gear cup with the post clutch of the bolt sums to indicate the pulley of the CDC with the valve of the rocker, the valve the levers are loose. Also, adjust the injector with the cylinder with the rocker level the loose, loose, and the adjusting slug under the screw lock now with the tightening adjusting screw with the injector plunge with the dwell with the bottom of the, tra of the travel tight adjusting screw with additional 15 degrees to remove the oil, all oil from the injector cup the in and loosen the adjusting screw one fold with the turn the use the torque wrench for the calibrate of the inches and pound to the adjust the injector with the torque. The wrench must have the screwdriver to adapt to turn the adjusting screw with the correct torque value shown in table 15. Loosen the adjusting screw with the adjusting of the Torque value two or three times to make sure they're correctly adjusted. Table 15 injector adjustment torque method cold set with cast iron rocker housing 48 inches a pound and house set 72 inches a pound aluminum rocker housing 70 in 2 inches a pound and 72 inches a pound hot set. Holding adjusting screw position tightening the lock nut 40 to 45 foot pounds of torque when the U of the ST669 adapter tighten the lock nut 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. 
Valve adjustment. When using the torque method, the valve's injectors are adjusted the same mill as the cylinder rotating the crankshaft of the next cylinder to see the table 16 for the correct valve clearance. Tighten the lock down to 40 45 foot pound of the torque table 16 to the valve clearance. Intake valves in the cold setting of the 14,000th of an inch of the um, cold and hot set of the aluminum rock caster. Exhaust cold set 27,000th of an inch. Cast iron rock housing 16,000th of an inch and 14,000th of an inch of hot set of the intake valve. Then 29,000th of a cold set. 22,000 uh, 127,000th of an inch exhaust cot set. Install the rocker housing cover. The install the rocker housing cover. The new gasket though over the O onto the rocker housing. Turn the cap screw aluminum the cover. The 12 to 17 foot pounds of torque. Tighten the cap screw of the seal cover. The 10 to 20 to 15 foot pounds of torque. Turn the cap screw aluminum the cover. The use the gasket made of the cork or the rubber. The 75 to the 95 inches of the pound of the torque. Refer to the parts of the category to find the car ga gasket in your two use. And then to install the intake manifold after after cool put, put the new manifold gasket the intake port to the cylinder head. Use a small amount of lube or plate when to hold the gaskets against the cylinder head. Follow the instructions to install the intake manifold. Install the cap screw weather assembly into the bottom of the cap screw to hold the end, each of the intake part with the cylinder head tight in the cap screw three to five turns. Install the manifold with the slots on the cap screw the washer. Make sure that the washers are not bending in the cylinder head of the manifold. Install the retaining retaining cap screw with washers to bend the manifold cylinder head and tighten them in the, the cap screw is 20 to 25 pounds of torque. These and then follow these instructions for the install the after cooler. Install the guide pin with the cap screws hold for the install port. Take the each of the cylinder head and install the after cooler onto the guide pins. Install the cap screws. Washer remove the guide pins. Install the remaining cap screw with the washer. Tighten the cap screws 20 to 25 foot pounds of torque. Install the airline light connection new gasket. Onto the intake manifold, tighten the cap screw 20 to 25 foot pounds of torque. Install the front of the rear of the water of the crossover the tube of the after tube. After cooler, make sure the hose of the water crossover the tube is not damaged. Tighten the hose of the lamps to 35 to 45 inches of the pound of the torque. Then install the aneroid control. Install the aneroid control bracket assembly engine with the equipment of the fuel pump side with the engine for the tighten the cap screws 25 to 35 pounds of put the pounds of torque. Install the fuel pressure line with the bottom of the fuel pump. The connection of the aneroid that is marked with the in. Install the fuel return with the line and from the fuel inlet connection on the aneroid and this marked on the out. Install the airline in the top. The inner order to the top of the intake manifold and tighten the one quarter inch of the tube nut to 10 to 15 pound foot pounds of torque to tighten the 50 on 511. 5116 inch tube with the nuts with the 15 to 20 foot pounds of torque to it. Install the fuel filter. A filter cartridge with all construction engines. The engines have been arranged with the 3,500, 350 horsepower. The equipment with the dual filter, fuel filters. Installing the fuel fill. The cartridge with the dual cartridge in and filter head. With the installing the mounting bracket with the filter. Installing the bracket with the same location engine as when. Was removed, tighten the cap screw with the 25 to 30 foot pounds of torque and install the filter head within the bracket of the tighten the cap screw with 15 to 20 pounds of foot, 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 foot pounds of torque. Apply light coating with lubricating oil with the next card, new cartridge with the seal with the gasket and the new cartridge then install the seal and the cartridge onto the filter head. Use the hand with the tighten the cartridge, tighten the cartridge until the gasket is against the filter head, then tighten the cartridge with an additional one half turn. Install the fuel line with the fuel pump with the filter head with the install of the line with the connection with the marked out the filter element, installing the mounting bracket of the filter head the engine, then install the bracket of the same location the engine as when it was removed. Check the connection with the filter head. Leak to make sure the connections are tightened to 30 to 40 foot pounds of torque. Then install the new gasket the filter head and install the new element of the filter shell. Install the element with the shell assembly with the filter head to tighten the center bolt with 20 to 25 foot pounds of torque. Install the fuel line with the fuel pump with the filter head. Install the line with the connection. This is marked out. Remove the engine from the stand. Install and remove the engine from the stand. Install the lifting fixture of the end of, to the engine. Remove the cap screw to hold the engine in the stand correct. Caution make sure the lifting fixture is correctly installed with the engine. Install the front and the rear support the end, into the engine. Lower the engine support with the front and the rear support. Remove the lifting. Picture remove the engines from the stand for support the bread plates and install the cover plates and new gasket the water head and water header. The install the exhaust manifold, install the new exhaust manifold gasket onto the um, cylinder head of the side of the gasket marked the out with must be about away from the cylinder head of the uh, behind a small amount of the man guild the number one eighteen sixty five pace equivalent to the gasket hold the position cylinder heads. Some of the section with the exhaust manifold, then install the engine, then install the new lock, uh, lock plates, and install the engine with the equipment, the cap screw, the apply with the coat, anti seize compound on the thread, cap screw, start the all the cap screw, two, three, three, three turns, then install the cap screw with the tight heat shield with the engine, so equipped. Time the cap screw with even the 15 to 20 foot pounds of torque in the engine, you the caps, you uh, the bar clamp, clamps to hold the manifold, make sure that the clamps are parallel to the mounting surface of the clamp cylinder head, the tighten, tighten the cap screw with the four, again, the 44 to 5, 50, 45 pounds of foot torque, um, be, and behind the, tab, the tabs of the lock plates are then again the head of the cap screws. And so the piston cooling nozzle uh, applied vegetable oil, new oil ring of the best from the cooling no nozzle. And so the oil ring of the groove of the nozzle. Using the part number to SC835. O ring of the symbol of the tool with the install the O ring. Make sure that the O ring is not twisted in the groove. Do not soak the oil rings. Do not soak the oil rings in the oil. Then install the nozzle and the cylinder block. The 1477 tighten the slotted hole, slotted hole head screw. The 96 inches pound of the torque and tighten the hex head of the screw. The 140 to 100 to 140 inches of the pound of the torque. 
in figure 1478. Install the oil cooler, install the guide pin, the pins with the cylinder block with the help of the install of the cooler, and assembly, install the new cooler, cooler support gasket over the guide pins, install the oil cooler, assembly cylinder 1479. And install the clearance cable washer and washer to remove the guide pin to tighten the cap screw with 30, 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. Install the support bracket of the engine so that to equip the gun to the rear cooler and onto. 14, 1477, install the piston cooling nozzle. Also, 1478, tighten the screw of the piston cooling nozzle. And 1479, installing the oil cool assembly, uh, cooler assembly. The cylinder block, um, all right. If the engine is, if installed, the support bracket of the engine equipped onto the rear cooler onto the cylinder bracket, tighten the cap screw of the bracket. The following the value of the three eighths of an inch cap screw, thirty to thirty five foot pounds of the torque. The seven sixteenth inch cap screw, fifty to fifty five foot pounds of torque. One and a half inch cap screw, seventy five to eighty five foot pounds of torque. Six install the water transfer tube of the gear of the rear of the co co cooler housing onto the connection of the rear water header from a collector and cover the tighten the house of the clamp of the uh, clamp of thirty five to forty five inches of the pound and the pounds um install the new O ring for the onto the water transfer tube then install the tube of the thermostat house of the coil cooler to tighten the retaining cap screw thirty to four thirty five foot pounds of the torque figure four through fourteen eighty fourteen eighty install the water transfer tube to the transfer tube apply the coating of the clean oil seal gasket over the oil filter installing the oil filter uh, installing the installation instruction of the printer with the oil and spin on an oil filter gate and carriage for the in order to install the installing element filter show assembly onto the filter head tighten the center bolt and the 25 35 foot pounds of torque make sure that the minimum of the 2500 to 250 uh, of an inch of the clearance between the filter and the oil pan of the flange of the cylinder block Install the water inlet connection. Install the new gasket with the water inlet connection onto the water pump. Tighten the crap screw 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. Then install the air compressor water lines. Install the water inlet and outlet lines to the air compressor for the cylinder block of the water bypass connection. Turn the tube nuts of the following valve to one half inch of 10 to 15, 15, 10 to 15 foot pounds. 7 8 of inch, 15 to 20 foot pounds of torque. 1 and 1 quarter inch to 20 to 20 foot pounds of torque. Torque. Install the alternator and generator. That's also instructed to install the alternator and generator. You have the spool type of the mounting bracket. Install the mounting bracket onto the cylinder block. Do not tighten the cap screw the at this time. An alternator generator mounting hole with the mounting hole with the bracket. Put the hardening washer space between the mounting lug with the alternator and generator. The mounting bracket. Install the bolt onto the bolt hole. Mounting hole with the alternator and generator mounting bracket. Do not tighten the bolt at this time. Install the adjusting link to the cylinder bracket. D. Install the belts with the onto the alternator generator pulley and the pulley of the engine. Check the L's aligning with the pulley. The pulley must be aligned within 62,000 of an inch for each of the 12 inches of the well, the distance between the center of the pulley, move the mounting with the bracket that's been with the correction. Turn the cap screw for the mounting bracket, adjust the belt and correct tension. You have the pry bar, pry bar, push the alternator generator away from the cylinder block too. The, tighten the bolts and tighten the cap screws, adjusting like a C table 17 with the cork tight and the correct tight the torque value. Tighten the alternator generator. Um, mounting by, b bolt, say table 18 with the correct table torque value. Follow the instructions and install the alternator generator. You have the two lug with the type of the mounting bracket. Install the mounting bracket on the cylinder block and tighten, do tighten, do not tighten the cap screws at this time. Allow the mounting hole to describe the step to step, um, pound, install the mounting bracket, bolts and, um, so that the nuts or bolts are toward each other. Follow the procedure of the type of one, one C, one D, and one E. And install the adjusting link and checking the alignment to tighten the bolts. The D, um, Take the all edge mounting bolt to tighten the bolt near to the pulley first, then use the hammer to tilt the head of the bolt into the opposite end of the alternator generator. Hit the bolt until the bushing in the is mounted the hole. The alternator generator is against the mounting bracket. Tighten the bolt in C-table 18 to find the correct torque value. Follow the same instructions to install the alternator generator. Give the fabricated seal mounting bracket. When you install the pulley with the alternator generator, you always use the lock mount hardening washer supplied with the alternator generator. Tighten the lock mount with the torque value of the table 19. Install the breathe tube. Install the breathe tube. Then if the engine is equipped with the crank craze, breathe the breathe sure that you install the new O-ring of the breathe tube. You the tube to clamp to fasten the tube of the cylinder block and install the starting motor and install the new starting motor install to make sure that the same type of the starting motor was removed. When install the starting motor with the issue of the space around the mounting pad of the flywheel house to make sure that the starting motor drive gear is engaged engaged with the flywheel ring of the, with the starting motor achieve that when the engine is equipped with the clutch of the new gasket and nylock cap screws install the starting motor with the tight and the cap screw that's 150 to 170 foot pounds of torque. All right. Um, table 17. The torque value is nominal bolt size. Um, nominal uh, torque value to the bracket to the adjusting link. Torque value to the pulley the alternator generator and also exemption above limit to the Delcomo re, re, the Delcomo Remy 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 alternators. Air cab alternators. Installing oil gauge bracket. They install the oil gauge bracket. The new gasket with the cylinder bracket. Tighten the cap screw 30 to 35 foot pounds. Um, so of torque. Install the water filter. And if the bracket of the filter head of the cylinder block, install the bracket of the filter head with the same. The location of the engine should also shown when it was removed. Tighten the cap screw 30 to 35 foot pounds. Install the valve of the hose and filter head with the, the light coat of the oil with the sealing gasket with the new filter cartridge. Install the new filter cartridge with the filter head. Tighten the cartridge with the using the sealing gasket to torch it. Start with the filter head. Tighten the cartridge with the additional one half of the to one fourth. 
three one half to three fourth turn. The caution: Do not use the wrench and tighten the cartridge over tighten the, the game be damaged the threads and, and sealed. The install the turbocharger. Install the single turbocharger. Apply with the code anti freeze code mount with the, the threads on the turbocharger mounting stud. Install on the turbocharger the gasket with the exhaust manifold the raised bed, but the gasket must be torqued with the turbocharger. The turbocharger mounts the exhaust manifold. Tighten the mounting nuts twenty to twenty five foot pounds. Uh, install the old drain the hose the connection at the bottom of the heavy um, bearing housing. Align the oh, align the tube of uh, the connection with the bearing housing connection. The cylinder of the block tighten the tube with the 50 to 60 foot pound of the torque. Tighten the loose hose clamp 35 to 45 inches of the pound of the torque. The time drain tube with the flex tube the top of the tube nut. Tighten the nut until it gets to the top of the stop. Tighten the hose swivel the 30 to 60 foot pound of the torque. The center of the line old drain hose uh, must be within 30 degrees vertical with oil barrel charge and stop the end to the engine. If losing the B clamp of the low housing the line with the oil drain tight and the hole the tighten the clamp of the nut 32 to 36 inches of the pounds the torque the sheave the plastic hammer the lightly hit around the circumference of the clamp, tighten the clamp's nuts, and again, the 32 to 35, 6 inches of the torque, install the oil supply hose, connection to the tube, top of the tur- turbocharger on a oil co- cooler, and tighten the swivel nuts, 19 to 26 foot pounds of torque, install the air t- intake across over the turbocharger, the air intake manifold, the after charge, 1482, the upper the new rubber tubing connection, the new gasket, tighten the cap screw for the air intake manifold. 1481, installing the turbocharger onto the exhaust manifold, 1482, installing the air intake, the crossover. 1483, tighten the cap screw for the crossover of the cooler with the 20 to 25 foot pounds of the torque of the figure. 1483, tighten the nuts for the clamp 65 to 75 inches of pounds of the torque. To install the screw with the turbocharger, high pressure turbocharger, then install with the exhaust manifold, low pressure for the turbocharger, install the exhaust inlet with the connection following the instructions, then install the turbocharger, install the high pressure for the turbocharger with the apply of the coal with the anti seize of the compound onto the threads mounting shut for the end of the exhaust manifold, and seal the new gasket. 9 figure 18, 4, 4 8D, 4 to the high pressure turbocharger, 10 on the exhaust manifold, please raise the B, but the gasket must be forward. The turbocharger and saw the high pressure turbocharger 10 onto the exhaust manifold, tighten the nuts 5 to 10 foot pounds of torque, and saw the support 3 with the exhaust manifold, tighten the 5 to 10 foot pounds of torque, and saw the old drain tube with the turbocharger, tighten the cap screw with the two planes of 5 to 10 foot pounds of torque, and saw the new gasket 8 in the two exhaust out there, the connection the 8 and 4 with the turbocharger, and saw the gasket with the B the turbocharger with the turbocharger. Seven uh, install the adapter six with the clamp five with the inlet connection with the outlet connection with the um four line with the connection seven the support three with the cap screw with the washer net for the passing connection on line with the onto the support and the line with the tightening for the parts of the line inflating of the sequence for the tightening the collapse the exhausting connection for the seventy to eighty inch of the ti- pounds of the tightening the mounting of the nuts for the turbo charge the thirty to thirty five foot pound of the torque they tighten the mounting of the nuts for the fastening the exhaust connection the turbo thirty to thirty five foot pounds install the cap screw with the fastening support with the exhaust manifold fifty to sixty foot pound of the torque for tightening the cap screw with the nuts and fasten the inlet in that connection to support 30 to 35 foot pounds of torque. Note the center line of the oil drain hole must be within 30 degrees of the vertical of the turbocharger installed onto the engine. Installing a low pressure turbocharger, installing a low pressure turbocharger for one figure 1484 with the new gasket for two with the exhaust connection, seven of the day, beads with the gasket that must be torqued with the turbocharger, tighten the cap screw with the nuts, five to ten foot pounds of torque, then install the oil drain tube with the turbocharger, tighten the cap screw with the tube flange for the five to ten foot pounds of torque. Note the center line of the oil drain hole must be within three degrees of the vertical and let install the air connection to the 16 to 14 hole with the clamp, 15 and the low pressure turbocharger for 10, but then install the air crust, or also for the inlet 12 with the new oil rings the 11 and with the high pressure turbo and charger inside hole. The retaining brace with onto the high pressure turbo turbo charger install the old drain tur- tube the hose connection with the cylinder block tied into the hose clamp to the 30 35 inches pound of torque. All right, I'm back out of this. All right, uh, one is your low pressure. Um, one is your low pressure turbocharger. Two is the gasket. Three is the ga- support. Four is the exhaust outlet connection. Five is the uh, clamp. Six of the exhaust outlet uh, outlet adapter. Seven is the uh, Exhaust inlet connection gasket nine eight is the gasket nine is the ga- nine is the gasket ten is a uh, to high pressure turbocharger eleven is the uh, O ring twelve is is the uh, air inlet thirteen is the brace um, fourteen is the hose fifteen is the clamp sixteen is the air connection. All right, align. Align the tight and perfect the torquing torquing nuts. Um, 
values. Tighten the mounting screw, cap screws now for the turbo charge 30 to 35 foot pounds. Tighten the cap screw with the oil drain tube with the flange for 30 to 45 foot pounds. Tighten the clamp to the air connection 65 to 75 foot inches per pounds. Tighten the cap screw with the retaining brace for the 15 to 25 foot pounds of torque. Install the oil supply hose with the bottom bolt for the turbo charge. Tighten the swivel nuts 19 to 26 foot, foot pounds of torque. Install the clamps to hold the oil hose and the show with the figure 1485. Install the hose with the connection oil cooler filter head with the figure 1485. Tighten the hose nut 5 to 10 foot pounds of torque. Figure 1485 shows the location of the hose clamps and oil connections. And to, to test the engine, running the period of the engine complete with the during the testing of the engine. If necessary, to test the engine to find error of the errors that can occur during the assembly process. This also lets you make the final determination. Check the performance engine dynamometer test. Check the dynamometer capacity. Make sure the capacity is enough to per permit. Test, um, testing at least 90 to confirm the maximum engine horsepower and the capacity for the dynamometer enough. The testing of the procedure must be changed to prevent the. Um, Prevent the damage of the dynamometer. Make sure the dynamometer can operate the engine speed. Coupling must have the central figure forces balanced. Installation. Use the correct lifting device. Put the engine on the dynamometer. Test stand and show the fashion and fasten the engine support. Put the dynamometer drive the shaft engine. The shaft flange on the engine flywheel. Use the correct flywheel adapter flange for the flywheel cap screws. Check the correct alignment. If the driving couple is direct with the flexible, put on the indicator hose the flexing. Fixture of the facing of the flywheel. Put the point on the indicator the hood the adapter flange for the rotating the engine for the getting of the reading flywheel. The adapter must be centered for the flywheel. Flywheel housing is 2,000 of an inch. Move the flange up. The flywheel is needed to tighten the cap screw with the direct coupling of the dynamometer pressing. And measure the face of the flywheel housing. Housing out of the dynamic to drive the flames of dynamometer to determine the one of the revelation, reducing the redu reading the must exceed 3,000 an inch. If, if uh, universal drive coupling is used to drive the flange away, flywheel, um, flywheel must be in the center within 3,000 inches. The drive flange of the dynamometer must also center with within 3,000 inches. Measure the center of the flange of the described in A of the above and install the engine so that the center of the engine is gang shaft. The center of the dynamometer drive shaft shell off the output out of the alignment three by one quarter of an inch to one quarter one half inch. Fasten the flywheel to the drive flange preparation for the starting before priming the fuel with lubricating system. Remove the fill, all filters with the correct fluid. All right, filling the cool system. Um, install the drain push closed with all the drain cocks. Open the cooling system vents if applied with the filling system. Cooling it you know, until flow from the vent, closing the vents and finishing the filing system. Full air cold weather operation. Three service bulletin. 3379009. Preparing the fuel system. Attach the fuel returning tube. Line with the flow of the tank of the fuel direction. Drain turret connection. With the Attach the fuel supply tank tube with the flow tank of the suction connection with the fuel tub. Pump. The connection to the electrical wiring starting pump motor with the motor that we use. We're starting another method. Is starting to be you make the necessary connections. Connect the throttle linkage and all instruments are on the control panel of the dynamometer fuel. Start the fuel of the fuel pump with the fuel before starting the engine the first time. Check the fuel tank. They must also supply with the clean grade, good, good grade with the number two diesel fuel tank and the suit of the fuel over the group the 18 with the correct specification. So we're going to connect the exhausting pipe with the engine's exhaust manifold turbocharger. Connect the air in the intake pipe with the intake manifold turbocharger. Use the standard air cleaner of the engine model to be tested. Preparing the lubrication system. The engine of the, has the turbocharger to remove the oil in the hose and the lubricating with the bearing of the two ounces with the clean oil engine oil and install the oil inlet line. Cram fill the crank case to low mark on the dipstick. Remove the plug and from the lubricated oil cross up with the probats as shown in figure 486. Caution do not prime the engine lubricating system at the time of the prime. To the front system from the bypass filter. Connecting a priming pump line for the supply to clean the engine oil to the pipe plug pole. 1486, the priming location for the lubrication system. Um, right there. Uh, 13 PSI. Uh, maximum pressure must be reached. Use the start, rotate with the crankshaft, make sure the fuel is shut off with the valve is closed. Always to prevent the starting engine, rotate the crankshaft 15 seconds to keep the oil pressure to a minimum of 15 PSI while the rotating the crankshaft. Remove the external oil supply line. Install the pipe plug. Tighten the plug to 67 foot pounds of torque. It's going to fill the crankcase with the high mark on the dipstick with the oil meeting specification lift with the group A team. The oil must be best in the, from the engine operation all of it's also in the best running period. There's no change with the oil viscosity type of the need for the new for the new build uh, rebuilt engines. Warning. Always clean oil for any lubricating oil which must spill on the priming filling crankcase. To caution stop the engine after oil has been run for the five minutes. Check the oil level to keep the oil level as near the, as possible. The high mark on the dipstick. Never operate the engine with the oil level below or level the oil mark and above the IH mark. Fill the hydraulic governor, fill the oil sump with the hydraulic governor. If the engine is equipped with the same type of lubricating oil that is used for the engine, fill the sump until the oil level is full marked on the dipstick. If the governor sump that is inspection glass, then instead of the dipstick, the oil level must be at the center line with the glass. 
Check the oil flow with the turbo charger. Remove the drain line with the turbo charger. Start the engine. Keep the engine running at the RPM at a low idle. Check the oil drain with the turbo charger. The oil must drain from the turbo charger in 10 to 15 seconds. If it does not, stop the engine. Correct the problem. Start the engine. Start the engine. Record for the clean air. Fuel supply with the combustion chamber. The proper quantities and starting system meeting the minimum requirements of humans recommendations. Normal standing procedure of the fuel system. Equip the overstop with the special reset button. Push before attempting to start the engine. Set the throttle with the idle position speed to prevent the damage. The turbo charger do next accelerate the engine over the thousand rear RPM. Reading the oil pressure gauge will indicate the normal oil pressure idle speed. Disengage the transmission. Make sure the gears are in neutral. Open the manual fuel shutoff valve on the fuel pump. If the engine is so equipped, the electrical shutoff valve operate operated with the switch is turned on. Press the start button on the turn and switch with the, with the start position. Cause it to prevent the damage of the starting motor. If it do not engage the starting motor continuously more than 30 seconds. If the engine does not start within 30 seconds, wait the two minutes without attempting to restart the manual. Override down the that provided with the forward and the electro shutoff valve. The valve the valve that open the enclosed with the electrical power failure to use the override manual. Open it and turn to the knob complete clockwise return the nap to run in position with repair has been completed all right um nt inta 855 cid engine shop manual general test procedure air cream compressor all cumin's manufacturer air compressor is to be operated with the pumping mode during the engine running uh, run in cumin cylinder air compressor must not pump with at least 125,000 to 130,000 of an inch diameter or if it's located down the line of the 150 psi relief um Pressure relief valve. The adjustment cumin, cumin's two cylinder air compressor to maintain the 50 to 75 psi in the air tank, tank regardless of the engine speed. Air compressor for the other oil manufacturer can be operated with the pumping, non pumping mode of operation, optional testing. Air energy performance check for the missile made with the air compressor operating the non pump mode. Blow and by measurement of the water manual meet the previous sheet with the measuring the blow by with the you can add with the remove the water to raise the lower the right with the water column if the O position dive that can be made the deck can be added to the water to make the column easier to read. Record the blow blue blue blow by reading along with the respective engine speed floating at one minute intervals during the range and running and this will inform the tester an unexpected increase of the flexion blow by. All right, engine starting. Start the engine. Put in the throttle below engine idle speed, uh, idle position for the active start of the after the engine starts operating below idle only long enough for five to ten minutes to check the property oil pressure. The inspect the fuel engine, even the fuel oil water leakage. Do not allow the engine speed to exceed one thousand one thousand RPMs before running in it. Do not run an engine speed idle speed for a long period of time before running. Engine running performance data refer to the maintenance specification handbook. Define the engine performance data. Check the engine data plate. Define the year of the engine. Table 20, Mechanics Specification Handbook, the engine dated um, 1976 uh, um, through 1979, 3379-1600, 1337-9138-00, 1937-9150, For all engines built prior to 1976, use bulletin number 3379-11600. Was built in table 220 with the following of the correct mechanical specification. The leak of the inspection after each of the run set run and step has been completed carefully. Inspect the engine for the for fuel, oil, water, exhaust. A leak of the correct and necessary engine shut off after the run of it has been completed. Allow the engine to run in idle low, low speed minimum of three minutes before stopping the engine. Do not stop the engine immediately after the last run and step completed. Serious engine damage can result man, maintenance for the dyno meter. Following the manufacturer maintenance with instructor to give the best service from the dyno meter calibration of the instrument. Keep the scale for the beginning properly calibrated. Follow the manufacturer recommendation calibration necessary. If they have an instrument that needs adjustment, follow the manufacturer instruction. NHINTA 855 engine run-in test. The general test procedure for the section before the beginning of the run-in engine dynamometer run schedule step 1, 1200 RPMs, 25% of rated load capacity and water temperature required. For design of 60 degrees Fahrenheit, step 2, 1200 RPMs, 40% of the rated load over the 2 minutes. Step 3, 1600 RPMs at 65% of the rated load of the 5 minutes, 4 normal to the torque peak with the RPM of the full load of the 4 minutes, for the 5 the rated speed with the full load of the 4 minutes, 1000 RPMs, 100 RPMs below the torque peak of the RPM. The chassis dynamometer run-in schedule. Use the engine meter dynamometer to run-in schedule multiple at the load by an eighth, um, ten, uh, eight tenths. Um, for a readout with a chassis dynamometer load scale. In chassis, the run-in run -in schedule, operating the engine torque curve with a less than rated speed for, uh, for the first 1,500 miles after rebuild, pulling a load trailer, then 1,500 to 1,800 uh, uh, RPMs and a higher. Don't need idle engine for more than five minutes for any one time during the first 100 miles operation. For a blow the by by measurement, if the engine naturally aspirated with the plug with the breathe hole with the cylinder head, remove the plug with the blow by with the check with has been completed. Do not plug with the cylinder bit, head breather bolt with the engine equipped by the flat with the wet wheel flywheel labyrinth. The type of the real seal covered with diamond oil weak with the result. 
Put a plug with the crankcase, break the vent with the remove of the blow, 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 blow stop with the oil filler, filler cap to replace the blow by tow with the container of the 302,000 of an inch. Diameter um, all parts of the number 3375150. Connect the blow by tool to the blow by gauge. Do not attempt to contain the blow by gases, but I uh, want a labor with the type of the seal is covered. You can refer to the blow by measurement section of the general test procedure for the actual measurement and recording procedure. If so, increase the blow by curve if the blow by exceeds the maximum allowable limit. This is either during any type of the running step of the return the, the previous step of the running the engine for the additional 15 minutes when the blow by reaches accepted. Acceptable level, proceed to the next step and then continue with the run-in. If the blowdown does not reach an acceptable level after repeating the previous step of the 15 minutes, discontinue the run-in, determine the cause of the accessible blow by measurable allowable blow die during run-in. Naturally aspirated 8 inches of H2O, turbocharged 12 inches of HPO, check, or water. Check during the engine run-in test. During the engine run-in test, make the following checks frequently. Lubricating oil. After lubricating the oil has reached the normal operating temperature, the oil pressure must, must not be trained with the engine operating with the given the RPM load with the seat table 21 for the correct oil level pressure level. And it's, the oil pressure is above the limit. Check with the restriction oil line with the oil pressure below the limit. Check with the restriction oil line on the supply line with the oil pump with the damage bearing of the engine. Check the temperature of the oil and the oil pan with the oil temperature rises right above 225 degrees. Stop the engine and make sure the necessary corrections. Also, the table 21 lubricating oil pressure for the new rear belt engine is the, um, Measure the oil pressure for the wind and the temperature for the oil pan with 200 to 225 degrees engine in Fahrenheit. The engine coolant, the engine can start with enough to coolant to completely fill the system. The temperature at the coolant must exceed 200 degrees Fahrenheit, but less than 100 degrees Fahrenheit during operation engine. The overspeed with the stop of the U with the shutoff of the fuel supply with the engine speed is practically 50% of the except for the minimum maximum rated speed engine speed rate engine speed. The equ engine equipped with the overspeed stop of the overspeed stop show should, should be advocated. Uh, 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 Activated cover the correct with the cause of the reset of the overspeed stop. Full pressure and fill rate of the pressure uh, refer to the fuel pump calibration manual to find the valve of the fuel pressure fill rate with the adjustment pressure with the check of the engine data plate with the find the fuel rate with the rear of the engine was built with the check of the fuel pump name plate with the find the fuel pump calibration C table twenty two with the find the correct pump the manual with the used part S D eleven ninety or at three seven three three seven six three three seven five fuel measuring instrument measure for the rate of fuel consumption. Table twenty one fuel pump and pump calibration instruments. Torque converter, governor, PT or type R fuel pump, the preferred PT or type R fuel pump manual bulletin 3379101 to find correct procedures adjusting engine governor, torque converter, governor. Android control adjustment referred to the fuel pump manual bulletin number 3379068 for correct procedures to adjust the Android control paint in the engine. Make sure the all of the engine surfaces are clean and dry before painting them. Put the tape over all the openings that must be painted. The paint. Put the tape over all the bolts. Remove them. Put the fuel pump, fuel pump data, data, data plate with the engine data plate over the data plate for the engine paint. Expose the threads of the terminal housing plant fittings and protect the tape. The pipe openings, fuel pump drain, the fuel manifold drain, the oil plant, oil cooler openings that has been capped and sold. Protect the clutch. Cannot take safe with the fly with the rust to preventing with the compound with the engine is not going with the main, immediate surface. Apply a coat of primary outside surface of the engine and, and apply enamel paint to the outside surface of the engine of the primary dryer. And in storage, also for the engine and with the result with the corroded, but they not protected. Make sure all the outside surface of the bank of the engine is bent and pointed with the current in storage. Protect the inside of the engine during the storage that's described below. All right, temporary storage. The engine remains without surface for three or four weeks and a maximum six months. The take the step of the prevent rust of the operation lifted below, below with the report required to prevent damage to the engine for the temporary storage. The engine must be started with the sped gradually to increase the 1200 RPM to no low of the upper of the engine until the water to the temperature is at least 600 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, or, this or 71 degrees Celsius. Disconnect the bowl fuel line for the fuel supply tank with a fill pole, potable container with one display. Diesel fuel cylinder, well preserved with the oil, U.S. military specification, mil, uh, L644 type PN, uh, PN9, um, preserved with the oil specification, Dubert Chemical Guy. Company Knox Rust and number 518 Dubert Chemical Address 2000 Spring Road in Chicago, Illinois. Start the engine with the fuel and let pump, pump pulling fuel with the, that can be in diesel fuel. Let the drain fall in the container of the diesel fuel after the engine started running at an idle. Move the move the fuel line of the container with the preservative of the oil. Open the engine five to ten minutes for the preservative of the oil. Stop the engine can reconnect the fuel line of the supply tank to the oil. Some of the fuel filter fuel tank must be drained with the drain plugs installed. New oil can be added. Remove the inlet tank of the housing between the air and in cleaner with the intake method. Disconnect the electrical wire. Turn off the shutoff of the valve. The bump of the counterclockwise of the engine. Now to start rotate the crankshaft. The engine for the applying with the spray 10 for W oil and then take manifold air compressor. 
Put the tape over the intake manifold opening. Keep it over the, oh, out the dirt m moisture. Put it at the tape over the openings, including the coolant inlet cylinder, or black oil breather, and crankcase to drain the coolant with the cooling system unless the permanent anti free for the rust inhibitor red added. Put the engine in the plate for the protection of the weather where air is dry when the temperature is even. Rotate the engine crankshaft two to three rev rev revolutions each for three or four weeks. Long term steam. Uh, long term storage. When engine is to be stored for the six months or more, it must be protected against rust and corrosion. The engine must be started with the speed gradually increased to 1200 RPMs with no load. Operate the engine with water temperature reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit or 71 degrees Celsius. Stop the engine with the drain. Old, old, old oil. The crank creates the full mark with the dipstick preservation oil of the oil. U.S. military specification mil L 21260. Um, type of the P10 grade 2 SA30. Um, this specification can be obtained with the Shell brand code with the 67. 6202 for Texaco preservative oil 30. Disconnect the bowl fuel line with the fuel supply tank to fill two portable containers and one with diesel fuel engine. Um, diesel fuel second preserve the oil. U oil U.S. military specification mil L644 type of the P9 preservative of the oil specification Dubert Chemical Company. Um, no rust number 518 Dubert Chemical address 200 2000 Spring Road, Chicago, Illinois. Starting the engine fuel inlet with a pull, pulley fueling with from the engine car and cam with the diesel fuel injector draining line with the flow container with the diesel fuel after the engine stated started with the running of the idle to move the fuel inlet with the inlet line into the into the container with the preservative oil. Operate the engine five to ten minutes with the preservative oil. Stop the engine to reconnect the fuel line with the supply tank. The fuel tank must be drained with the drain plug and soap must cover the filler, ventilator tape, the drain, all the pumps, the compressors, coolers, filters, and crankcase. Replace all the plugs and draining. Move the intake exhaust fuel manifold to apply with the preservative oil into the uh, spray into the Tank intake of the exhaust part of the engine. Also apply into the intake of the part of the air compressor and also intake of the exhaust manifold. Nine ins inspect the coolant the cooling system. If the coolant contains the rust drain of the flush system, flush it. Fill it with the pres rust preservative compound with the drain. The system is the hot and then replace the plug. Use the oil with the rust inhibitor that will mix with the water. Flush the cooling system before the returning of the service. All right, 10. If the air starter is you, is you, they remove the exhaust plate with the top of the starting motor to protect the air starter with the spray of the preserved oil in the exhaust part. Install the exhaust plate, loosen the tension of the V-belt, push, make sure the outs, all of the outside surfaces of the engine are paint, painted and remove the valve cover. They apply the preserved oil with the rocket level, the valve stem springs, guide the cross heads and push tubes, install the covers. 13. All engines opening buses are covered, the, uh, covered with heavy paper and tape. 14. Put a tag on the engine showing the following. The engine has been prepared for the storage. The coolant has been removed. The crankshaft must be rotated. The data of the engine was prepared for the storage. The compound um, used the storage must be removed before you're running the engine. 15. Put the engine in place to protect it with the weather and when the air dry with the temperature. Even, the, uh, after, even after the engine has been stored for the 24-month flush, it would solve it and repeat the preparation of the storage. Keep all the rest preventing of the compounds clean, preparing the engine from the storage. The service engine is removed of the storage. Put in the service the operation limited below the most completed inspection limited the operation indicate it for the length of the storage time. Cleaning the engine, remove all the dirt outside of the engine, remove all the paper covered and tape, all solvent, and remove the rust prevent compound from the, um, from the surface of the engine, fill the crankcase with the clean oil, flush the cooling system, inspection. Engines that are stored six months less must have the adjustment injectors involved the belts. Check with all the checks with the oil filters, air filters, connection, torque valve, or cylinder heads, cap screws. When the engine has been stored for six months or more, the following inspection procedure must be followed. Flush the fuel system with fuel oil until the fuel system is clean. Remove the plug with the oil filter ahead of the run with the hot and light mineral oil through. The oil attached to rotate the engine three or four times during the flushing operation. Remove the oil screens. Make sure that they can be plumbed. Um, Clean before engine started. Precautions. Too much oil combustion chamber that can cause hydraulic lack damage if the engine occurred with the start of before the oil is removed. To return the engine with the surface of the storage. Make sure the foreign matter is removed from the screen. The strainers apply the oil under the pressure for the lubricating system before starting the engine. The engine is now ready. Caution. All check for the nearest coming in the distributor for the correct preservative oil with the engine. Start the engine after inspecting the engine part to make sure that all the preserved oil must be flushed away. Starting the engine is prescribed in preparation starting on the page 1444. Our group 16 mounting adaptions.